we're rolling into uh, the beginning of the session. Yep, I'm trying to think of some music. <clears throat> uh, here, let me get the bot at least. Boop, boop. I'm still trying to get all this shit done. All right, we'll give you a minute or two there, Double M. Do we have everyone, or nearly everyone? I don't see a Leonard. I think that's it. We got, we got Evan, we got Robin, we got the John D, we got the Veritas and Ariel, we got the Seven and Rel, we got the Wallets, we got the Venus, we got the KGP, yeah, we're just missing the Sebastian. Okay. Way too peaceful, what should be chaotic, but... <clears throat> Hey, mind if I do a little role play? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, y'all can try and talk to me, but I am really busy doing inventory management, hell. Oh, shame. I was going to involve you because it's kind of... Yeah, I figure well. as much, but uh, fair warning. That, that's what yeah. I got. Okay, I need three of those. I don't have any of those, so I need to buy those. Uh, John Cragen responds affirmatively. Again, the Corvos are helping Gorn, whose backpack combusted, so... Things. Uh, the rope he's got, don't need to worry about that. Okay, I think I can scratch off the dagger, because that was special. Oh well, that would have been nice to keep. Don't need the soap. Don't need the scissors. Alright, I have a shopping list. Okay. Corvo's confused. And I don't it's know, a Leonard. Hey, yeah, I Leonard. think that makes it full house. Full house. Okay, so Leonard, very little has happened. We did some item saving throw checks for uh, Double M, and they've role played just a little bit in in character chat there. And uh, I'll bring you back up to speed. The alley is on fire. Y'all drug some bodies in with that uh, guy, that city watchman and plate mail. And yeah. <coughs> Still early morning. Vader, I think I'm getting some feedback through your... Oh, I have you at 200%. Why the hell do I have you at 200? Who? It's because my earbuds used to suck, but I'm using a different pair. Alright. Well, that explains it. I don't hear the feedback anymore. Okay, that's taken care of. Uh... Pascal will ask if... Uh... Well, Veritas, you're there, obviously, in Bevan. He knows that... Actually, I don't know if you were doing healing spells back then, but I'll ask if anyone can spare a few healing spells for those of you that do the triage. Boop. Oh, that is the wrong place for it, though. Oh, and uh, someone should probably give some healing to the guardsmen over here. 
I was working on it. Getting around to everyone. Alright. Uh. Veritas. Can everyone put a. G give one to the guard first. Out of character. I will. Can everyone put a thing in out of character if you're low on health? <laughs> yeah, I don't think very many of the party got out of this unscathed, so. Yep, I predict the. Uh... Well, did. you are getting your triage up. Okay, Dom, not to say you're jumping the gun, but I'm only seeing uh, seven numbers and there's a lot of party. So you might want to give them a minute or two. Uh, Dungeon Master is going to go for a smoke, and uh, you all get your triage out there and figure out your, your priorities while I do that. All right. And then we'll do the, the first round of healing, because I know uh, there's two or three of y'all are going to want to slap some Cure Light Wounds out there first round. So party, obviously guards are going to be incoming at some point or another. We give them our statements to the best of our honest and accurate knowledge that those of us know. And yeah, from there, my guys need to go do a light bit of shopping. I'm actually going to start. I'll have to check with grills on the prices. But yeah. After that, I'm not sure what we're doing. Assuming we're not all, you know, detained and thrown in jail for a few weeks. The gale. <laughs> I'd like for that not to happen. Likewise. So, you know, we cooperate with local law enforcement. I'm sure, Wallace, that should be an easy thing for you to do. Hopefully. Alright. Uh, da -da -da -da. Actually, we're in Navarre, aren't we, not Venera? Right. Navarre. Secret doppelgangers? Why, I would never do a thing like that. <laughs> Too often. Uh, hey, Grills, what's the guardsman um, triage? Yeah, I'm about to put that in. Spell. There's a 
letter that goes in there. There we go. Because he should be at... How much was that fireball? Oh. Is that 24? That's what I thought. Hold on, I can reverse engineer. 23. 23? Okay. 24 because I took half. Ah. Which was 12. Okay. I'm seeing 23. That's well, weird. It was 24 because half of 24 is 12 and I took 12 points of damage. Moving mm. forward. Moving forward. Then you have a reduction. Hmm. All right, Dungeon Master, it's possible I marked my guys up by one more hit. Oh, they bond wounds. That's right. No, it was 24. Okay. Uh, hold on. What is happening, DM? Okay, that's the triage. For the people that are in the barn. Hey, girls, what do you think of that comment? Which comment? Ben there, killed my double, got the bounty monkey. Uh -huh. I shouldn't need two bedrolls, so what's the cost of a bedroll? Admittedly, I think... Well, I misinterpreted what... Okay, y'all got about eight things in in-character chat I haven't read yet, so... Let me catch up. Okay. idea <laughs> blankets <laughs> okay bowl wooden that's probably under Okay, so I got the Corvos busy picking up shit. Uh, Wallace is doing a cure like wounds. Bevan is praying. Uh, Robin is stashing shit. Veritas is healing. Okay, Veritas, Wallace, are you both doing Cure Light Wounds on 7? Or is one of you doing one, one's doing the other? If Veritas is doing one on 7, I'll do one on Rel. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, you two healers, dice your healing and designate who's getting it in the dice rolls, or, you know, say it aloud or post it after you roll it if you use regular dice. of character chat. <laughs> Six for Rel. Ration. Six for Rel, eight for seven then. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is this encounter over for chance? Did any get away? <laughs> I hope it's not too obvious that I'm trying to get my character more informed. Wait, Vader trying to learn things? I never would have suspected that of you. Mm. <laughs> Fucking hell, I cannot be asked to figure out 16 times 30. 30, 54, my bad. Mm. Double M, it's 54. Hmm? I said it's 54. Yep, I, I got that. 10, 30, 90. Okay. Where is that listing I have? Yeah, sorry if I'm ignoring anyone right now. I'm just trying to get shopping done with DM's permission. Well, you'll that won't occur until later, but I know you're... Doing the math now so that I can just, okay, add these items right back to my character sheet after subtracting a hefty amount of gold, because goddammit, we're in the trade cities. Tent. Okay. 
Oof. Okay, it looks like I did take notes on that. Good. Three times four <sighs> is twelve. Okay, so John Robbins coming over to you, and I don't know whispering or talking normally, but telling you about loot. Loot. And John, uh, yes, your vision is starting to come back. Uh, Dungeon Master. Yes. You have told me to, when I asked about the whole cure moderate wound, you told me to DM it to you. Do you want me to do that, or do you want me to wait? Uh, I think it got listed somewhere. It got listed in Denali, it's the Denali Spells okay. channel. Then yeah, so that's where I use it at. Mm -hmm. It a it instead of doing a D8, it's a second level spell and does a D10 plus one. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Yeah, I guess we might. You'll have to try it in session and find out. That's why I was asking. That's why he's asking. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I've I've read over it. You'll have to try it and see what happens. Uh. <laughs> Yes. Out of character. Okay, you just felt like saying, uh, out of character. Okay. No. No, he's telling you to look in out of character because you skipped Venus. Oh, okay. Uh, the owl is on fire. Didn't catch the barn yet. Fireball. Point blank before that powerful magic blast. I'm surprised the barn is still standing. Back. Welcome back. Tell DM I want. Seven on the action. Okay, uh, Venus, go ahead and dice your healing. Your first spell on seven. Okay, that becomes six. Every little bit helps. Got a two. Okay. Becomes five gold. Okay, now to answer your questions about the fire. Yes, it's on fire uh, on the wall that it shares with the alley. It's not a complete conflagration, but it is on fire. The door's burning at the edges, and that window opening where people went out of and shit. Yeah, the, the edges of that are on fire. That kind of shit. So, round two of The Burning Barn. Film at 11. Hmm. And Craig is just freaking out. I need to go double check a spell. <clears throat> Ooh, got some heartburn. That that hot dog and tater pop was delicious, but I'm getting some heartburn here. Okay, one first. Five second, one third, one fourth. Okay, so 15 plus two and a half is 245, plus 45 is three and a half, and a fourth, four and a half. So four and a half hours, Bevan. Okay. I'm just figuring out how long it'll take in that order that you listed. Right, and I, like I said, I I was gonna do them in until, order until somebody taps me to get going somewhere or whatever. Yes, gotcha. Praying RP at least until he can see enough to study his spell book. <laughs> GP, look for any dangers. If the fire looks easily manageable, they'll try to smother it. Otherwise, stay away and keep watch. What are you trying to smother it with, KGP? Uh, we should have rags or something. Well, I know that would probably catch. It depends on the size of the fire, obviously. And Dungeon Master, I'm not a firefighter. I, I don't know much about it. But I know that right. you could smother it, cut off the oxygen supply. 
So if this is something my characters would have a reasonable idea on how to do. Okay. Uh, Evan stands up, telling the Teamsters to hook up the wagon one and two and move them out of the burning barn. Okay. Well, against a fight, they're not very brave, but against a burning barn, they uh, they will get ship moving there, seven. Grell leads Roan out of the burning barn. Grown. Is that the name you picked for your elephant? Yes. Ah, okay. After throwing the Elam's body on the back of Wagon 2. Okay. Because that's what she was doing live. She was carrying in Elam's body. So. Okay. All right. So, duly noted there, Rel. Let me get caught up in the other channels. Okay, Seven and Rel are looking much better than they were before. In character chat, Mumble's vision can't come back fast enough, and he's typing. I skipped you again. What? Getting out of... Okay, it's shifted because while I was reading, somebody added something. Sorry. Getting out of Burning Barn, then doing prayers, then when get spells back, healing again. Okay, you edited it too, because I saw that you were doing prayers. I thought I read that aloud. Okay, but getting out of burning building first. Yes, that's that is a wise decision. <laughs> okay. Regan, I take it you had some allies with you uh, due to the weird nature and us being no strangers to time passing. But no non-weird way to ask. What date do you last remember? Uh, yes. You you may uh, cite the date that you well, last remember. I, I My character obviously wouldn't know the exact day, but I imagine we should be able to pinpoint that, hey, that ain't right. Uh, well, they should. My guys have no idea. I'm looking for it. I think that it's not too far out of John's intelligence range to uh, put this together, at least. Well, John, it's been, what, a week? Two weeks since we last saw you? It can't be more than two weeks. And that certainly is not right. Can Rel huh? hear this? Uh, hang on. You know, because we met up with Gilnor Walt, we headed out. Got about halfway, ended up turning back, and then... Reagan, it's been the... months. The fuck? It... Thunder You're serious. Master, can Rel hear this? Let's see. Rel leads thrown out of the burning barn. Let me check. I wasn't hitting when I thought that my actions might have killed you. No, no, hold on. Rel wants to do something. We can't skip too far ahead here. Oh, all right. Sorry. No, sorry, Rel. You, you can't hear it at the moment. Hey, Rose, how bad is the fire in the alleyway? Okay, so everybody got their action in. Or, or, or they are forfeiting. Grills. Yes. How bad is the fire out in the alleyway? Uh, did you hear me describe it a few minutes ago? Kind of, but I just want to get a read. Thing, it's I, not real I, bad, at least not on your side of the alley, but it is caught hold. Okay. All right. Would y'all would y'all like for the sake of uh, expediency, expedience and elegance, me to kind of smooth things through here? I'd like that, please. Okay. Uh, healers, you can dice two more healings. Designate your targets when you do the dice rolls, okay? And those of you with animals, you're getting them out of the barn. KGP, you are kind of fighting the fire or at the edges. Uh, and after about another minute, Fire Brigade does show up. Yes. And they start doing a bucket chain. Uh Now, I can't speed up your RP, so y'all can go ahead and do that. 
Uh, but they will manage to get the fire on the barn contained. And they're still fighting the fire on the other side of the alley, which caught it much worse. When a few more minutes, five more minutes to be precise, because I rolled all this shit up weeks ago. Uh, when more of the city watch arrives, some of them split off to help the fire brigade and a good patrol and a half sized contingent are, uh, looking at y'all pretty funny and yeah. Were the Do wagons I being moved? Because I asked about that last Robin. session. Wait, Robin is being moved? The wagons. Yeah, you are moving wagons. Uh, I moved wagon one and two. If he did not move wagon three, that is on him because that is his okay. wagon. I had asked last session the Teamsters to do that. Okay. And yeah, it's getting moved with the others. Okay, uh, Venus, it takes 15 minutes to get one first level spell back. You ha It hasn't been 15 minutes yet. So, no, I, I haven't missed you or, yeah, it just, it takes time. So any character check? Huh? Dragon? Or I'm trying not to what? like talk or type overrule the DM right here because the DM mm. is moving things along and we could spend the rest yeah. of the session in a burning building if you'd like or Dungeon Master, we're going to give accurate accountings to the guards and be very upfront okay. with them. This group was attacked. We came along, and they were Stop. our friends, so we helped. Ah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Stop. Uh, so, guy in plate mail steps forward and starts talking to what appears to be the leader of the new guardsman contingent. And, uh, yeah, on world knowledge for all of y'all, even those of you who, except for you, those of you who are praying or studying, but he'll say, yeah, there, there was a goblin with another group that started the conflagration. I don't know who started the fight, but it was the goblin and it's dead that started this mess. I think these guys are, they're okay. They didn't resist or anything. And, and when my squad got here, they, they stopped and that's when the goblin did some shit and set everything on fire. And uh, so they'll confer for a few minutes. Two guys in plate mail, one's kind of lightly toasted. And uh, at that, the, the other guy sends his guys to help the fire brigade while, while they're talking. And uh, the guy that's been with y'all for the last few minutes and lightly toasted plate mail. Uh, during the time y'all were waiting, he would have gotten some names from a few of you and uh, basically said not to worry. I mean, Is it all right if we get a name from him? Huh? Is it all right if we get a name from him? Yes, his name is Damocles. Mm. Damocles? <laughs> It's right. a name, damn it. It is? Okay. Dungeon Master, it should be close to mid-morning, if I'm correct, aren't I? No, I've only sped y'all up by about ten minutes. All right, so morning okay. time. It's still morning, okay? Maybe two, three hours after sunup. Okay. And healers who had spells to cast, you've rolled it and informed your victims of their condition. Because <clears throat> if you have not, it's not on me. It's on y'all. Party, we need time to heal up and stuff. I recommend we basically take to the rooms, you know, buy the rooms back if we need to, healers in the rooms, and yeah, spend the next the rest of the morning over here. Maybe an expedition goes out and buys some shit because Gora needs to restock, but let's try and keep the party together for simplicity's sake. Sound good, okay, everyone? So since it's been 10 minutes, may I dice two more healings? Wallace, if you had two more in memory, then yes, you may. Designate your targets and let them know. Very valid question. And I won't uh, begrudge you those 10 minutes. 
Rel for two. And Rel for six. Woohoo. May. All right, healers, healers. If you haven't diced your healing, then it's on you. Remember that. Can I try to help with the fire? Sure. I have <clears throat> a spell I would like to cast them. Okay, what spell? Precipitation. It'll basically kill all the light fire, at least. Okay, yes, I'm familiar with precipitation. Okay, uh... You cast that spell, and as according to the spell, it'll put out a lot of the lesser fires and retard the uh, strength of the more entrenched chemical reactions. Y'all like that big science speak, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm out of things I can do. Well, a link boy told us a man wanted to know about when we leave. I paid the link boy to tell me where this man was. He told us I went to confront him. We went out the window from the loft, and we landed a full 12 man, I believe. 12 group popped out and started attacking us. We defended on ours, and then the guards showed up. We stopped, and the goblin exploded. As the guardsman said, I was inside the barn when that happened. Rail to guard. Okay. And uh, lightly toasted plate mail will nod and... Say, I don't know about all of that, but uh, the part I was witness to, that jives. <clears throat> Does the yes, number you are. Yes, you are me? still waiting to get your spells back. What, Vader? I know John only got like, what, like maybe a minute of looking at them, but he did have a good vantage point with 12 jive with him. That's, yeah, maybe, maybe more. Okay, and after 10 minutes, John D., most of your vision should have returned. Of course, things are still going to seem kind of dark to you, because, uh, yeah, you don't have the sun in your eyes for uh, three or four minutes without some lingering effects. But uh, you should be back to normal within a day. So how, this is the basic question, how long am I going to have to wait before I can start studying again? Uh, you could start now. You're just going to uh, either need to be in some bright light or have a source of bright light nearby to do it. Because, yeah. Since you know, I never... Party's next actions is going to be either to secure the barn or rooms in the inn and have clerics and our druid go on heal bot mode. Seven, Rel, speak for yourself, double M. What would you rather we do? I'm open to suggestion. Well, let's go to a room we rented and pray for two hours and 45 minutes. Okay, those rooms were rented for the night. Y'all were coming down to leave, so you'd need to re-rent them if y'all want to re-rent rooms. Uh, okay, rel is up to 75%. 7 is at 50%. Okay. Okay. So, in about this time... Okay, so after about five more minutes, those of you who were praying for a first level spell, you've gotten that first 15 minutes. Okay, and by this time also, the fire brigade and city watch and other volunteers have gotten the fires put out. Okay. There's still some smoke and steam coming out from the alley and, of course, that kind of shit. Okay, so new actions, people. Uh, I know, uh, let's see, Bevan, you still need, what was it, 
four hours and 15 minutes at this point? Something like that. Okay, you still need a while. So I need to know, is the party just going to hunker down there? Or what? Are you going to try and rent a room? Or what? Just... Hey, yeah, Venus, you're still praying. Hey, Mama. Okay. Did he get his chicken stew paid on yet? Okay, he's still got an appetite. Yeah, and then he made, I had one of those cups, cakes you make in the cup. Yeah. Left in there, and he fixed that and made it. Okay, so he feels bad, but he's still got his appetite. Yeah. Okay, all right, he'll be all right. Then. <clears throat> Kinda out of juice, lol. All right, y'all want to pray for spells? We held the party. That's what we were doing. Thank you. Checking since higher point and all. Devin and Venus are already praying and have been. Okay. In character chat. Hey, I'm not seeing Hans. I don't see a corpse his size either. Fellows. No, Hans wasn't that the uh, big guy. Okay, go ahead, Mama. Vader, I oh, think the... Aiden did a typo meant to say weren't here at the start of the battle. Oh, those three points to Koro were here at the start. Not sure how they got here. Well, yeah, taller than all of, uh, huh, Rel. I could have sworn I only heard their voices later in the encounter after I was blinded. Okay, so yeah. since you cracked your I'll crack mine. Okay. Two hours and 45 minutes. Okay, Wallace, I got your time. Uh, Veritas, an hour. Got your time. Bevan, I got your time. And let's see. Venus, 30 minutes. Ah, got your time. Uh, very good. Very good. I see more typing is occurring. Maybe he got stolen by that other group, didn't some of them scurry off? Well, it's two hours and 45 minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Rel, uh, you ain't got to worry about your quest elephant wandering off. He's, uh, by wandering off, I mean stolen. Okay, I'm going to give you some off-world knowledge. That's Please not... Please don't. Huh? Please don't. No, because this is kind of... You should know this. That's... Please don't. So, party, are we good? Just quickly, quote-unquote, time-skipping, if you will, the next three or so hours to let the clerics get back their spells, do some healing, maybe repeat that, and just if we need to spend the day here healing, do that so the party's back up to full? That's 
sounds good. Okay, Robin, do you have a spare suit of armor to put on, or are you just getting the burnt stuff off? I do have a spare set of armor, but I wasn't going to put that on yet. Okay. Take off the burnt stuff. Still need to be healed. Still need to gather other items that were lost. See what I can pull from my other stash. So okay. I'm not, not putting on armor yet. Okay. But probably after. I will soon, but not yet, because it's the white armor. It's the only other armor I have. Ah, I see. Mm. Mm. Okay, so those of you who are praying, you're praying. That's or studying. I don't see anything from John D yet. And I'm going to allow y'all to, uh, those of you who are not engaged in prayer or study, to edit your options because I'm going to remind you of something that if you were actually there would be very obvious. You have bodies. Ah, the bodies in the of, wagons. Bodies of the dead variety. Well, I know Elam got stashed, and I'm not sure about the others. KGP kind of just blipped out on their bodies that they carried in. Mm. And I I'm don't... assuming with all the guards here, they're not going to let us pilfer through them. Well, the guards, as I said, went more or less to fighting the fire. Except for the two guys in plate mail who, uh, yeah, after a certain amount of discussion, the uh, toasted, toasty plate mail, uh, Damocles, as y'all know him, uh, he's, he's kind of, yeah, he's just uh, kind of watching the, the crew doing their thing. But the new plate mail guy, he's out there with his guardsmen helping the fire brigade and shit. <clears throat> All right. Robin, I know you want to watch over Bevan, but once the guards are gone, do you want to help us pick through the stuff? Because, and this is out of world knowledge for me, obviously, but as a mage, you have the ability to detect magic one way or the other. From the bodies we already brought in, or from the bodies outside? The bodies outside are probably FUBAR, but we can check. Yeah, once things settle down, I was going to try and look other things, look for clothing to try and replace mine. So it's Your not a... Clothing? Do you mean armor? The armor. Type of clothing. Okay. To see what's see what's available to replace what got burnt. So while while I'm doing that, I loot other things if possible. Okay. Be stealthy about it. Lamb's body. Rel! That's an easy one. I will start with you. Okay, so Rel, his plate mail is intact. And among his belongings, other than sundry, mundane shit that may or may not have been damaged or destroyed, you will find a set of bracers. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, uh, please make a note that you have Elam's plate and bracers. Really noted. Okay. Okay.
Dungeon Master. Yes. If you are willing to permit, Rail would attempt to try on the chest plate of the armor. Okay, what kind of armor are you currently wearing, Rail? Splint, I believe. Splint? So, you're going to spend a few minutes taking your splint mail off, or at least the main body portion, and try on this chest plate. Mm-hmm. Well, strangely enough, it fits. Dungeon mm. Master, I strip off the rest of his armor and put it on. Okay. Well, that takes you out of uh, actions for a few minutes, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. <clears throat> now let me move on to the next person. Okay, Venus, you're praying. Other people who are praying, you're praying. In the barn. Burnt armor taken off, watching over Bevan. Okay. Veritas praying. Uh, praying. <clears throat> and guys, so once the fire is put out, which I told y'all it was, and the fire brigade, they, they go away, and uh, the guards kind of have a little... Uh, discussion, you know, the two in plate mail, and uh, the reinforcements leave. All right. Hold on, I got to deal with the message here. You see the bin out of character. Uh, would you have me like role play that out with uh, Rail? Hold on, I I'm not up to speed. Not, with you. not out of character. Sorry, actions. <laughs> what? I edited my actions for the round uh, some minutes ago. If three hours is passing, he would replenish spells. He isn't going to deal with looting right now. Before studying, he'd offer to try a spell on Rail if she trusts him. Is there a spoiler there? Yeah, uh, for you. Oh. Yeah. Later, I accidentally clicked on that, so I already saw it because I didn't realize. Uh, in the future, <laughs> put the 4DM before the spoiler. <laughs> Fair enough. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Check with party. Help loot bodies if needed once the guards step out. That's where I was at. Okay. So Damocles is going to uh, wait for all the others to leave. And he's going to come over and say, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what got started here, but uh, if y'all want any sh of that shit from them, go ahead. And I'm going to hang around. And when you're done, I'm going to get somebody to come get the bodies because we can't just fucking leave them here to rot as they deserve. So... Let me know when you're done. And he's going to find a comfortable looking pile of straw and kind of sit down and rest up against a wall. Well, Damocles is a pretty cool guy. Okay, Sebastian and KGP looting bodies. K and G will go on watch duty, give a holler to group. If a group of guards strolls by, because this will look sus as fuck. Yeah, no, I didn't know about yeah, Damocles he... doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you can strike that if you want. Yeah. Um, uh, Ariel will also, also, also keeping watch Ariel. Okay. Or looting bodies. Looking around at bodies for any armor I can use. Okay, party. <clears throat> <clears throat> Y'all want me to speed this up? Yeah. Yes, okay, please. I, figured, figured I, got, I got my typing fingers ready, so when you say uh, so-and-so ahead of this, I'll type it out if you'd like. 
Now, again, I am not going through all the mundane shit like, ooh, a backpack, ooh, a belt pouch, ooh, a half a pound of chalk, ooh, <laughs> a day and a half of standard rations with a little bit of mold on the crust. No, not going through all the standard mundane shit. I'm going through high quality, significant stuff, okay? So, yes, there will be a certain amount of food, water skins, wine skins, uh, trivial shit that we, we can kind of figure up later, but I'm not going to bog the session down with that. So, the first body, which would have been that fellow named Shaw. You said they took Shaw. Yes, they did. Okay, I was looking at a different mark on him. Okay, second guy. And thank you, Lydia. Uh, this would have been Igor. Y'all got Igor's body. Yeah. Sadly, his pipe mail shield, those kind of got melted to him. There is a nice dagger. Yep. Okay. Or right, somebody writing this down in... Uh, yep. Okay, that was, remember, this was Igor's dagger. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, okay, that one got away. And do you remember which one Robin had already looted? Yes, I wrote down Robin's name next to the ones that Robin pilfered. Okay, gotcha. Just check. Okay, let's see. I got to check timeline, see which bodies y'all got. Because I wrote all that shit down. Next is Pat. Okay. All right, y'all will find a handful of sling bullets. Does anybody use sling? Mm. Veritas, I Veritas think. Veritas does. Ooh. Yeah, Veritas. Well, there are seven of them. Pat also... Yes, sling bullets? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Pat also had a longsword. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Next corpse. Uh, Jolene. Jolene had a mace. Ooh, nice. Let's find either Bevan or Veritas. Next body. Nathera. <laughs> yeah. Okay, off-world, you are going to feel good about this. That character had no magic items. And nothing of value that survived. Elam. That one's been claimed already. Gary. Yeah, Gary's been pilfered already, too. Because I have Robin next to... Uh, Bracers, ring, and book. Gary Nodder. So, and again, party, you, you're going to find different this, different that, standard adventurer gear. Uh, and this Norton thing. My subscription canceled, and it's been showing me a reminder for the past three months at all the worst times. You okay there, Mama? No, you need help? No, I don't think so. I can't recall if I'm going to come on and tell you to fall off. Oh. <clears throat> okay, once done praying, she then will be healing seven twice. Waiting, praying some more, I could take it, then healing myself twice. Okay, gotcha. All right, does the party wish to do anything with your ill-gotten gain? Was Gary the last body? Yep. Oof. Wow, a dagger, a longsword, seven sling bullets, a mace, and two bodies already pilfered. Yeah, well... Is that from the bodies inside or the bodies outside? That's from the bodies inside. Okay, then... Okay. 
Seven the fire, the fire brigade and the watch took the bodies that were in the alley. Mm. Oof. Not that they're wormen. Excuse me, guys. Hmm. Their versions of the Corvo ran away. Plus a couple others, about half of them. There is no way this is over. If nothing else, then the metrics that the fact that the Dungeon Master put this much time into them, we're seeing them later. Yeah, like I said with the comments. All right. All right. So that is two. Okay, so two there. And then that is the shield. And then that. <clears throat> so that should put me at negative two AC, right? It depends but on if it's shield. magical or mundane plate mail. Well, I, I, well, clearly it's magical because this is what I got off of the, mm -hmm. the, go the goblin. The goblin and it, it fit you. Yeah, yeah. My way of testing if it's magical or not. Uh, but I don't know what pluses is, but I just know that with plate mail, shield, it's two, but then with a uh, minus four to AC, that gives me a negative two. Correct. Okay, thank you. Negative two or better, unless this is something cursed, um, which I wouldn't put it past reels, but hopefully not. Okay. Alrighty. I'm two points away from being seven. <laughs> nice. Is that your AC? No. Alright, so we still need to do healing. Mm -hmm. So I think this just boils down to the waiting game of, okay, Dungeon Master, we're going to guard the clerics, clerics are going to dice the healing, and yeah, we might pass the day by over here. Ain't nothing for it. And yeah, uh, would Rel accept John's offer at a spell that it might help in your well, recovery process? Rel is kind of putting on armor and girl said that would have been all i could do because that would have focused yeah that's going to take a few minutes of your time okay so you already for me to kind of speed things up a little bit again that would be nice okay is now anybody doing anything special with the plunder until we know what it does it's probably best to keep it on the wagon so we can distribute it evenly so I mean, okay Ryle's already wearing the armor all right well just yeah. yeah we'll get that identified figure out where it goes Yep, that good old... What are you doing with three, the bracers? That good old minus three missile attractor cursed armor. All right. You know, I didn't put That's... it past you. I did not put it past you. <laughs> okay. All right, so y'all going to let Damocles know that you're done with the body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then he says, all right, y'all just keep it quiet, and I'll be back shortly. And uh, he gets up and... Did I ever get to heal him? You haven't gotten your spells back yet. Okay. Okay. So, and the first person who's going to be done, and again, because y'all are praying, the rest y'all have looted bodies. Uh, about 10, 15 more minutes go by, and Damocles returns. He's got... Uh, another contingent of guards with him and uh you know they they start getting the bodies out of there they've got a wagon out front they load them up and question huh well this would be to go if they knew of any bounties for people matching these descriptions pretty hard to match them up the way they're burnt up now i'll check on that that uh, Rel, are you keeping Elam's body, or are you relinquishing that? Offworld, I kind of want to say yes, just to give it the lag effect for brownie point. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of off-worlding that shit. Yeah. Dungeon yeah, Master. the guys are going out. to uh, insist on it, Rel's probably just going to let it lay there. Okay, then they will cart that away, because again, dead bodies, you know, it's... <sighs> I'm sure uh, Lagatha is going to be more than happy to hear that we killed a 
fire or warrior <clears throat> for you. Yeah, but denying him his rights to be buried at his temple right. or whatever it is, that's that's brownie points. <sighs> okay. Anyhow, that's going to happen. And since you are, you are just pretty much keeping watch over your healers here, that being the case, the person with the shortest time is Venus. You'll get that half hour. And I believe you wanted to heal seven twice. If that is the case, you may dice those two healings. But yeah, uh, Damocles will say he'll see if there's any uh, bounties on what he can identify of these people. And uh, yeah, he'll, he'll come looking for you later in the day if he finds anything. We appreciate that greatly. Uh, Igor... Uh, okay, double M. Pilfered by Robin. Uh, let's get specific on that. Bracers, a ring, a book. And he did say beer back. Oh, did he? I'm back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Double M. Mm -hmm. Pilfered by Robin. Spellbook, a ring. Bracers, off of Gary. Okay, ring, bracers. Okay, thank you. And Robin also got a pair of short swords off of Sparrow. Oh, also a rod. Ah, uh, yes. A rod, also from Sparrow. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> uh, I was like, damn, we got like four whole items from this thing. <laughs> but okay, that's close yeah, to oh, seven. Gee. Let's see. Uh, obviously, some stuff got away. Yeah, Let's see. You set off world knowledge that uh, uh, one of them I may or may not have had the elf and chain. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Some magic leather armor got destroyed. A wand of fear got destroyed. That wand of illumination is so gone. So, so gone. A ring of chameleon power and a ring plus one gone. Uh, Bracer's armor class four gone. Incense of meditation versus fireball. Guess what that needed to save. Gone. Yep. But there's still some good loot floating around out there somewhere. <laughs> mm. All right. Now, party, I, I got a DM about this, so I'll just put this out in the open. Uh, we're, as per party agreement, we should be sharing all this, but if we don't know about it in character, we can't do shit. <laughs> okay. Now, uh... Those of you praying, remember that first half hour has gone by. So, Bevan, I believe that was a... Let me find where you listed everything. Okay, uh, Venus, did you roll the healing for those two? That you were going to give seven after your half an hour? No, I just got back. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I wasn't sure you if you were gone or not. So you got your half hour, and you can uh, dice those two spells. Total of nine. Total of nine. And so you're going right back into praying again, correct? No, because I have two bonus healing spells, and I want to use them on myself. Yeah, those have to be prayed for also. Yes, I, believe... I, I already had two stored away. I used oh. three okay. of them. I All got right. one back 15 minutes ago, then I prayed for another 30 minutes, and I got my other two back, so I have a total of four. Huh? Huh? 
you only get three as a cleric. Bonus spell. Yes, that's only two extra bonuses. That's a total of three. Druids start with two first level spell Venus slots. Clerics start druid. with one. No, no, this is Venus what I'm explaining because I know Tamara is oh probably messing with it. Naomi, when you have a chance, you should really read the section on clerics in the player's handbook. Do you have a 19 wisdom as Venus? Venus. <sighs> okay. Y'all want to model? Uh, she, 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 she has a 19 wisdom that gives her a bonus third, so she does have four. Okay. Okay, so she gets one for her level and three bonus first. Yes. Okay, and just to be so we're all clear. Bonus spells have to be prayed for as well. Yes, but what I'm trying to explain is I didn't use up all my bonus spells. Okay. I had used only one bonus spell, and that was the first one I prayed for for 15 minutes. And then I told you I was going to pray for another 30 minutes to get my two other spell, two other cure spells. Okay. Therefore, there's my four spells. Understand now? I think so. Okay. So I did the, I, got, I did nine to seven. Now I'm waiting to roll for myself. And then I got to go back to praying again for okay. my four spells. Okay. So go ahead and dice the two for yourself. Ten. Okay. And so now you need to recharge all of your spells, correct? Yes. Okay. That's one hour. 15 minutes each. Yes. Very okay. good. So who got nine? Seven did. Okay. Thank you. I'm uh, going to be healing seven as Wallace is healing Rel. Okay, well, let's not get that far ahead. You're, you're praying again. So, okay, the rest of you who were praying or studying, you will have gotten a half an hour of prayer study time as well. So, you're all keeping track of your own spells at this point. Dungeon Master? Yes. Before I get ahead of ourselves... You did say that... It... Yes, yes, I did. Okay, and that's... Which spell was it again? Reverse of Wounding. Wounding. I will specify the reverse. <laughs> did you have the reverse memorized? Yeah, he didn't have much reason to have it in normal form. Okay, level four. No, nope, that's not it, is it? Yeah, it's level four spell. Oh, this is your big gun. <clears throat> okay. Negative energy. Da, 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 da. Okay. So you're going to cast the spell, and uh, but you're going to tell her first, right? Yes. Instead of chasing her around for a round or longer, possibly. <laughs> it's a funny yeah, image. Don't want that. So yeah, okay. and, and this is on rail yes and rail you're a willing recipient of this experiment nope he wants a guinea pig he has three right over there but you're the only one injured well you're the main one that he cares about who's injured thanks yeah, john he still ain't gonna be a guinea pig tank the firewall to the face you my dude out. which one of you needs healing yes <laughs> Which you one's got... more willing to try experimental magic? Pascal. Now, you're, you're sure this won't kill me, right? 
No, I'm right? pretty sure even if it goes bad, I you can tank it. Well, how, what do you mean, pretty sure? <laughs> okay, nah, I'll allow well, it. Just fuck it. Go. Let's see. Okay, John D, roll a d4, please. Just gonna do it in dice roll, just for now. Two. <laughs> okay, and this is on Pascal. Correct. Okay, yeah, Pascal, it burns. Ow. But the burning quickly fades, and you are indeed restored two hit points. Neat. Now, Dungeon Master, I'm confused because originally set at a 3D4. Is this just a cork of the spell? Okay, if you look at it, if you're using the straight version... Uh, For the damage? Oh, shit. I was looking at the, the backfire damage if you don't get rid of it in time. Yeah, that should be 3D4. So roll two, die four more there, John D. Thank you. Huh. That's something. Okay, so, so six more. Eight total. All right, hey, that works. Yay. So, yeah, you're pretty much throwing raw positive energy with very little filter on it. So, uh, yeah. How do you feel? It burns, but it, it's a good burn. Yeah, I think it works. What? How? Where did that spell come from? Bonji, believe it or not. Huh. Right faced bastard. Something was good fucking for something. came out of him. All right. Can I have the airways for a moment? Sure. All right. So, baby, your HP. You only. Subtract or add from your fighter HP because it has the most HP. Your other ones there is just for you to keep track of. Uh, she was subtracting from both of her classes HP. Oh, well, thank yeah. you for clearing that up. <sighs> yeah, when you multi class, you get. me full 100%. No, your fighter HP is the HP pool you go off of. Okay, and that HP was down to 7, and I healed myself twice for 10. Then you're fully healed. Yeah. That's what I was sort of yep. saying. <laughs> yeah, multi-class characters get the benefit of the best of their tables when it comes to hit points, attack matrices, so on and so forth. It's pretty nice. But you level Actually, up slower. You wouldn't have needed to roll that second healing, because the first one would have healed you. I did it just to be on the safe side, just to do the two to make sure I was up to the full health points. Okay. How much did you roll for the first spell? First spell was nine. No, 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 no. The first one for Rel, or, or seven, I don't know which one you healed, was a two. I did a two D8s because I healed her twice. And it was okay. a seven and then a. Okay, so. A two, then a okay. seven. Babe, which equals nine. Babe, babe. Okay, okay. So you were hurt, and when you healed yourself for seven, that would have fully healed you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to apply that second roll, that three, to someone else? Sure, I will throw it at seven. There you go. And then I'll do my prayers for an hour. Given a little retroactive gimme here, so. Sorry. Uh, I'm still yeah. learning. You're still learning, and that's why I'm being patient and kind, because now you've learned. The next time you screw up like that, I will not be forgiving, and you're just going to be stuck for it. Still going to pray for my full hour. Duly noted. That's... Okay, I'm not at 670%. Mm. I wished. Power at 670%. Well, how about At that? that much, I might actually be able to take on a Grail Bonito. Maybe for nah. one or two of his no. magic missiles. No, even at 670%, oh, you're not taking on the Emperor. <laughs> let, let me do a little chart check in here. 100% for which of you? 
doesn't matter. Let's round you up to 60 hit points. 670, let's round that up to 700%. So 60 times 7, 420. Okay, you're right. You might be able to suck up one magic missile volley. We can still multiple of those. Now, you're still 500 yards away. What are you doing? <laughs> Turning and running in the opposite direction as fast as possible. That is the correct response. <laughs> At least I can say I lived the volley. Mm -hmm. That's more than pretty much anything else on the planet can say right now. <clears throat> See, I'm glad I got that spell well, figured out. I mean, a Leviathan can take a full volley, but he generally doesn't hit them with the baby magic, like Magic Missile, either. <clears throat> imagine a 50 e die 6 fireball. You don't have to no. imagine it. You can do the numbers yourself. No, it's a 50 die 6 plus 50 delay blast fireball that he throws down its throat. Yeah, so mean average, 200 hit points, no save because it's inside. Can you say heartburn? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that'll give you some heartburn. So. Okay. Wow, well, did... did... <clears throat> Yeah, okay. after that. Hmm. So, new. And spellcaster, or yes, spellcasters, those of you who are praying or studying, you've had a half an hour, so please list how much more time you need for the new. And other people who are not praying or studying, you know, you're standing guard, you're keeping watch, you're whatever. <clears throat> Need to do shopping. Yeah, I don't think you want to sp split the party up right now. I do not. Okay. Venus, I see where you put pray for one hour in the last one. Could you please update it? Just the same line. So I'm that way I, I clue in on where my green letters say Dungeon Master and I'm reading new. But you'll probably be the next one done. Although I know some people are going for half hour spells, but I think they're going for the full schmear. Anyhow, I'm going to go for a couple of drags real quick. Oh, yeah. Legs stiff. This is needed. Ow. Alrighty. KGP, guard duty while they pray, study, discuss options, and need to do shopping. Wallace, an hour 15. Venus, an hour. Continue praying 30 minutes. Then wanted to heal somebody and go back to praying. Okay, Veritas. Bevan. Okay. We're working on those. Uh, let's see. Four second is two hours because they're half an hour each. 
uh, one third, so that's 245 and a fourth. So that's 345 for Bevan. I need to scribble down here somewhere on a piece of paper and I don't need for anything else. Robin, is that one hour, one... Study? Yes. Okay. One hour. HR is an hour. The HR, HR isn't included there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's unless what I asked. Study one. Yes, well, you contemplate the mysteries of the number one. It's intricacies. It is, it is the first number. The alpha, the prime. It's singularity. Born. Wouldn't zero be the first, though? No, zero is a placeholder. <laughs> I mean, technically it's a number, and it does come before one, but most people start counting at one. It, it's fun like that. Technically, negatives come before one, too. Show me, so. show me zero fingers. You right. can't see it. You don't hold up any. That's right. So it's not no, the negatives. It is a lack of a number. Well, Vader, we try and be positive around here. Hmm. Mm. Anyhow, yeah. about philosophy and math. Pascal right. got a whole dose of positive energy. Yeah, see, we're being positive already. Okay, so... Uh, that That's just going to give me cancer, I just realized. <laughs> it's positive yeah. growth. Fine. Okay, so we will have another half hour go by, people. So, depending on what you're praying for, you can mark off either two first or one second or whatever fraction. Let's see, Bevan's down to 315 at this point. This is important because Veritas wanted to do some healing. Veritas, dice your damage and name your target or targets. Is the guard around? No, he isn't. No. Oh. A for effort, F for timing. And yeah, y'all might want to do uh, triage again in out of character. And I see I have a message waiting on me. Okay, so Bevan's at 90 ish. That's pretty stout. Venus is at 100. Round 7, 70 or better. KGP, 64 to high 70s. I'm going to heal Kragen. And seven. Okay. Kragen and who? 7. Okay. Wait, did I get my extra 30 minutes? I don't remember if you said that. I, I, I said yes. Yeah, 30 minutes okay. had went by. And I have four two. spells. Two first levels. Wait a second, you're a druid though, aren't you? So that's just... No, I'm a cleric. You're a cleric. Yeah, that's right, you're Veritas, not... Wait, Veritas is a cleric? Yes. Really? <laughs> no, I was trying to make a call right. back to... Is wait, I have night vision? vision? <laughs> keeping track of a lot of people. You have infant vision? <laughs> well, fuck with me or I'll turn a lot of you into druids. Sorry. You went dick. <laughs> Dungeon Master, I was trying to be funny. Wait, I have infant vision? Five for Craven, Craven. Seven for seven. Seven for seven. Seven for seven and eight for Craig. I see five. Oh, that is five. five. For you. Yeah. I, I had brain stumped because I saw the one D eight. I'm one. not sure how to say it, but I think I'm like down ten percent. Okay, so your triage would be ninety percent or thereabouts, ish. And then. So, okay, so you healed yourself for five. Yep. And you healed Ariel for two. Okay. Back to praying ankle. Another hour. All right. All right. No, it was half an hour, Venus. Okay. So that being said, uh,
Okay, so the last time I typed in new, y'all gave me stuff. Veritas did some spells, so this new is one hour later. Okay, so that's half an hour from when Veritas just did those spells. So... Does that mean I'd have all of my spells back? Yes, it does. Okay. So all I four. know what I'll be doing. Okay. So, Bevan, you're down to that. Just under three hours to go, Bevan. <laughs> okay, so John D, you're down to an hour and a quarter. Okay. Robin, you've gotten your hour. Thank you. You're welcome. Wallace, you need 15 minutes. And I think that states it all. Uh-huh. That is spot on, Devin, with my math. No, it ain't. <clears throat> Four times it would be two. It should still to be two second. You got two hours and 45 minutes to go, Bevan. You have everything you originally wrote down. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Again, having great power comes great recharge time. Great power, Bill. Guys, trust me, if the Emperor were to clean out his memory, throwing spells, first of all, that's going to be one hell of a fight. There will be scorched earth for miles in all fucking directions, as well as fucking scorched ether and astral shit, okay? Pits, craters, wow, just, it, it, it would be bad, it would be bad, the, 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 the flora and fauna would not return for years after that that scorching. Uh, but it would take him a while to replenish all that shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Out of character chat. All right, Corvos are at over 70. I still have yet to see one from Leonard. I put one in for him. That's good. Well, nobody's and here. It's, and it's still the same. Uh, 58. Okay. Hmm. Let you know when to roll. Ah, oh, thanks, Lydia. Okay. Oh. Devin and Rail going inside to eat. KGP keeping watch. Sebastian sleeping in the corner. Also, uh, let's see. The... Well, it's going for forty-five minutes. Wallace, did you add something to what you were praying for? No. Okay. So when um... I type, when I typed new at eight thirty-six, then if you look at where I typed new at eight forty-four, that's an hour later. So you were down to 15 minutes is what you need. 
unless you added to it. So there you go. Didn't want to cheat you, buddy. Well, I was just going off of the fact that I heard someone say that we were just going for another 30 yeah. minutes. Somebody, the time went for somebody did go for 30 minutes, and then there was another 30 minutes, and I didn't need to type in a new for that. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Didn't want to cheat you out of half an hour of your life. Okay, Wallace for 15 minutes. Healing 7, then healing Rel. Okay, go ahead and dice that healing Venus. Okay, so seven and two on. That's definitely not my wish specter, Yeah, seven and two on seven. And then okay. I'm rolling for Rel. Okay. Yeah, Rel. Oh, okay. Excuse me. So seven, you got nine hit points back. I just realized what you meant because I just went down there. And 13. Well, is that 100%? Nice. Well, oh, aren't you peachy with your shiny new armor at 100%? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ready to bash some heads in? What? What? You said something. Yeah, Vader, I didn't understand what you said either. I'm now to cut out for a minute. I understood that last somehow. I'm sorry. He's speaking the tongue of the gibberlings. It's his he battle cry. He is speaking the language of the gods. Hello? Hi. Yeah, can you hear me clearly? Yes, but we. all you had to do was repeat what you had said again. My audio had cut out for a moment there. I didn't hear what anyone had said for like the past, I don't know, minute, 30 seconds. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'd... I know I was saying something and then I don't know if anyone replied. What were you yes, saying? Yes, he asked you to repeat it. No. Ah. Why is that having memory issues right now? I'm gonna guess exhaustion. Drain Maybe. damage. Drain damage. Mm. I've been up for only like 12 hours now. Okay, party, I put a new in actions, and I've stated 15 minutes later from where party last did a thing. So I should be done at like an hour or something? Yeah, an hour. Okay. Okay, so Seven and Rel, y'all have gone inside to eat, and uh, Venus catches up with the two of you, and yeah, there's a little commotion as, as Venus heals you, and wow, the people are staring because it ain't even lunchtime yet, but I understand y'all are hungry. And, wow, people don't, generally don't cast magic out in the open like that. So, they got well, their shit kicked in, they want food. <laughs> <clears throat> uh -huh. And I gotta adjust that so that too. Me? I'm just trying to do my job to make sure they're at full health. Mm hmm. Oh, I gotta check for a thing. Oh, so close. So close. I rolled a 97. Oh, and okay. So, out of you and out of seven and Rel, seven's the only one that needs more healing left? Focus yeah. on someone new. 
Look in out of character and you'll see the triage for okay, people. Okay, so Sebastian would be the next one. He is uh, like the guy who's had the most shit kicked out of him at this point. All right, so Wallace, you're uh, going to go over to Kragen and offer healing. All right, okay. happily accept it. Kragen. Okay, go ahead and dice it there, Wallace. <clears throat> Ayo. Or does that uh, put you at? Uh, give me a second to do the math. I'm at about 89%, closer to 90. And another 7. Another 7. I'm at 100%. Okay. Thank you. I don't know your name yet. Wallace? No, no. Wallace oh, joined yeah, after the course. Well. Okay. <laughs> but thank you. Craig and Corvo, good to meet you. <clears throat> okay, so going by the lowest common denominator. <clears throat> okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> preemptively fireball. I mean, there's always a chance that more loot would be burned. Just making sure. <laughs> yeah, but fuck those people. More lightning bolted. Yeah, that's nice. Aren't y'all glad that you've had lessons in offensive slash defensive magic from Master Calf? Yeah, it's the best defense is fireball the fuckers. Before they see you. I got mine from Mead. Well. Uh, to be fair, his method is more lightning bolt usually, but... That's a ma matter of taste, not methodology. I thought uh, Mead's first move is always thump thump. It depends. It yeah, depends. if he has an action, if he can do it. Okay, Mead's more dynamic but Master Calf is more powerful. So, you know, Mead's got a whole toolkit. Calf has mostly got sledgehammers. Mm. <laughs> hmm. if, if it looks like a railroad spike, hit it with a bigger hammer. Okay, in character chat. It's a pleasure. Okay, actions for the round. Okay. Uh, do you have another cure medium wounds there, Wallace? I do. Uh, okay. Uh, dice that. For three. Dice that. Uh -huh. I prayed for three cure moderate wounds. Weren't you praying for an hour and 15 minutes? 
two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm hung up on that other thing. Okay. All right. Go ahead and dice that healing on Pascal, assuming he is a willing victim. He is a willing victim. <laughs> Nine. Nine point. Okay, that brings him to... Uh... Give me a second, I'll give you the thing. He's at 91%. Nice. At uh, this point, let me update the cage. May I apply a cure light wounds as well? If you've got it in memory, yeah. who's going on? That would be Pascal again. I see. Mm -hmm. One. Hey, that helps. No, seriously, that helps. What you're looking at right now, Pascal? Give me a second. Uh, 92 to 93%. I will update my thing over there. Okay. Uh, may I put another Cure Light Wounds on? I would on? like to point out that Sebastian is still at 58%. Uh, I am simply going down the list, okay? And Tell you what, he Wallace. Bound wound, so he's probably bleeding internally over there. Go help Sebastian. The Corvos are good where they're at. They're beefy fighters. It's going to take a few spells, and with most of our party getting higher up, Sebastian should get some prioritization here. Much as I'd like to just scratch off my guys, okay, they're back up to full. Yeah, no, Sebastian needs it more. Five on Sebastian. Okay, Leonard, are you with us? I got it. Okay, yeah. So, Leonard, Sebastian just got healed for five hit points from Wallace. <clears throat> Thank you, Lydia. Is that the breaker? next one I was going to heal anyways after uh, my hour... Hold on. There's for an hour or so. Hey, I did. Uh, what's Sebastian's percentage right now? It's in the out of character. Look in the out of character. Yep. Lydia posted it with hers. May I apply another? You have another. Yes. Dice it. I have a lot of these. For Another five, five more. Yeah. And Lydia, you might verbally want to tell him so you don't have to keep updating the triage. Oh, so, well, 73%. Okay. Okay. Um, another cure light wounds on Sebastian. I sit. The first I time him and his brother Goran have something in common. For or two. two. Hmm. What, being a little toasty? No, being at seventy-three percent. There are two <laughs> things. That, there are two things in here, but they're like in the walls. Okay, are you looking to do any more healing there, Wallace? Uh, yes, I still have two Cure Light Wounds ready. Okay. And what is Sebastian at right now? 73? 76. Yeah, I'll just put the next two Cure Light Wounds on him, and then I gotta go pray again. Okay, dice them then. 11 to Sebastian. Okay. So yeah, you might want to edit the triage now, Lydia. <laughs> probably what you're doing before I even opened my mouth. Kinda doing math, and I'm fighting with my calculator. Okay. Now he has something in common with his brother Pascal. 
Okay. Hmm. So it's looking like the fighter base is mostly in good shape. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, Dom, please strike that last bit. I pray for two hours and 45. Strike as in? Yeah, edit, delete, get rid of. Okay. So I can put in new. Because you, you've done that stuff. All right, I'm back. Dungeon Master, how late does it feel like? Not that late yet. We've been doing 15 and 30 minute jabs here and welcome back. Actually, Dom, go ahead and slap that in there before I type new. Well, considering I am time challenged, that's just why I'm asking. Okay. So yeah, it's still morning. Your your uh pair went for early lunch because they were hungry. Okay, so one hour later. And party, for those of you who have not want for the early bird special, you're getting hungry now as it's fast approaching noon. Dewey noted Craig and Gorn Pascal. Robin is at 70%, I believe. Okay. Has been healed lately. And Lydia, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor while I go for a cigarette. Okay. Uh, and you might want Double M to help you if the wording gets funny, because words. But I want to remind you all that you can only pray or study so many times per day. Okay, right. remember, you're, you you keep shooting that gun and the barrel's going to overheat and melt. Your brain will turn to fucking mush if you overdo it. And okay. some of you have already went through two full batteries. Okay. okay? So, I'm going for a smoke. I've got my, my two most seasoned Padawans to explain this in case anyone is iffy. I don't care who does it. You, know, you combine effort and get it hammered out. Because I mean, and do you think you can keep this simple? Yeah. And I do mean simple. No big yes. word. Okay. So party spellcasters, you are a gun. Every time you fire off a spell, that's firing the gun. Every every time you pray for a spell, that's reloading it. You can only reload the gun twice as many times as you have spell slots. So if you're a first level magic user, you have one first level spell slot, you can only reload it twice each day. Reload, shoot, reload, shoot, you're done. So look at your spell slots, all of them, including your bonuses. Double that number. That is the number of spells you can pray for each day. Now, you can pray for a spell, save it for tomorrow, and use it. That doesn't count against it. I am still good. Mm-hmm. So, Venus, I think you've got four first-level spell slots, so once you've cast or prayed for eight spells, you're good. You're done. Like, your brain will turn to mush if you try and uh, pray for more. I don't think anyone wants to have brain mush. Mm -hmm. I have a whole table I invented for when players do that. It's lots of fun. You invent a lot of stuff. I invent a lot of stuff that never gets used. I'm a very inventive person. Anyways, uh, if anyone has any questions, shoot. I'm all ears. Oh. Hmm. Probably should wait till the Dungeon Master gets back to this one. Uh, you can say it anyways, and worst I'll say is, yeah, we gotta ask the Dungeon Master. My question would be if John would have any clue that it's what affected him with his mind was a feeble mind spell. Yeah, okay, that's Probably gonna be one for the not. dungeon master. <laughs> Probably not. Where 
Well, there's a chance that's why I ought to at least ask. Mm -hmm. All right, did the lesson get communicated? I believe so. No one's complained so far. Okay, now, also, in case it didn't get mentioned, there is a way to cool it down. That's called sleep. Now, if all you're doing is first level spells, I believe, without popping open the DMG, that's four, four hours. hours. Yeah. Okay, second level spells, six hours. Second third and level, third. Second and third. Okay, yeah, it brackets. Actually, first, and, One, two, three, anyhow, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyhow, that big old ninth level cannon cocker arch magi spell, you need a full 12 hours of sleep for that shit. If I remember correctly. Uh, and that's but, like... Yeah, if you're just uninterrupted up, sleep, right? Yes, mm -hmm. uninterrupted. Okay, so, excuse me a moment, guys. Yeah, moment. Also, if you're sleeping next to something evil like the Chasm of Groff, it might not be possible to get restful sleep. Even if you nothing attacks you, it's just you're on edge. You can't. Come here. I'll keep them. They'll get used eventually. Well, I mean, I know it's. Yeah, I know. I feel like your size, I'm... But of limited value. They're, Which means almost all of our. Yeah, what I mean, they were. We uh, no, we're not. Our um, magic user people who can use spells, even if they're not a mage, they're probably going to be out for this day all entirely for watch if we decide to travel mm -hmm. we could probably afford to spend the day in the city maybe even two mm -hmm. so anyhow so uh you know if y'all go over your limit i start rolling for brain mush or y'all start rolling saving throws same difference uh so you know at some point you might want to take a nap or sleep for six or eight hours or you know, until you feel refreshed and your mind is reinvigorated and you're able to pray or study again without, I don't know, your eyes crossing, severe migraines, that kind of thing. I feel like you're bringing this up because of what Wallace is doing. I'm bringing it up because of more than one player and I don't want to point a finger at anybody, especially if people did not know about it. Oh, well, I did put out a suggestion, and I never got any feedback. I'm sorry. would like to suggest we sleep here, then set back out to the City of the Temple so we can train if we get level ups. I'm down with that. Mm. Anyhow, so would this... go ahead, Vader. Would this RP be before or after John is done studying? After, actually. You're probably the one that prompts it. Okay. Uh, Does it involve just a certain handful of people, or is everyone involved? Everyone can be invited to involve. We're not keeping it down unless there's still people praying, in which case, you know, we'll try not to disrupt them, but everyone is welcome. I'm doing it in character. Okay, well, just don't get ahead of me here, because although it is kind of a lunchtime thing, although let me digest actions for the round. New, one hour later. Uh, Pasca or KGP getting food, eating. Venus goes and eats. Then, don't know yet. Okay, so mark off that money or the rations or whatever you're doing for food there, Venus. Uh, let's see. Veritas healing me, Ariel, Gorin. Okay, so. Veritas, go ahead and dice those healings. Hold on. Uh, double M. Have I missed? Yep, I missed something. Then that, yeah. I wouldn't have said that. Well, but just roll with it, man. <laughs> you missed it. You were studying. Okay. Yeah, Q. I have a character whose first name starts with Q. Mm. 
Yeah, from Star Trek, the next generation. Yeah, Q. Mm -hmm. Of the continuum. <laughs> and I will mention that Wait, we don't I, have the concept I, of months. I, I thought that was Ninja. Oh, but wait, we're part of the collective too, aren't we? <sighs> if asked, John would just say a decay, praying for death, huh? After studying, he would go and eat, offer, get meal for the Corvos, and they already did that. Keep watch over one studying. Need to rest so I don't turn too much. Then rest, you need. Okay, uh, let's see here. Veritas healing Veritas for four. Veritas healing Ariel for seven. And Veritas healing Gorn for four. I take it you all got that? I do now. Thank you, Dungeon Master. And that becomes there. Ew, got a clever idea, guys. When you do that thing, when you heal somebody, you might want to attention that that person to make sure they see that shit. And then if they don't, and they don't have those hit points because they didn't check the fucking dice rolls, it's on their ass. Yeah. K, 100%. G, 78%. Pascal, 93%. And I take it nobody else's numbers has changed, or they're a healer themselves, so they don't feel like posting it, or that shit. Round 7, I can understand not needing to post it with only a 2% discretion there. And Sebastian's still at a solid 93. Yes, I can have the Navarre, it's been several weeks into the new year. Navarre. You want to kill this one, Aiden, with your characters? Some sorcerer. Aiden, Discord freezes up on me. He's Rip. the guy that does nothing but some smoldering green sparks coming off of ash in a pair of footprints. Many sacrifices have been made during this fight. I'll say. <laughs> ah, here we go. I opened the DMG right to the page. First and second level spells require four hours of rest. Okay. Third and fourth level spells, six hours. Fifth and sixth, eight hours. Seventh and eight, ten hours. And ninth level spells, 12 hours. Now, of course, this is nice that I let you get a reload. Uh, without that, because if you go strictly by the book, you know, you, you've memorized your capacity, you cast, you gotta sleep. You, you can't just get the shit back. That doesn't seem right to me. So. That being the case, uh, Venus, you're gonna need four hours of sleep.
usually sleep. Rest and revitalize his or her mental faculties. The minimum time required for complete rest, usually sleep, is that required for the highest spell to be recovered. Minimum rest periods are shown below. <clears throat> so you don't have to absolutely be asleep, but you're definitely just laying there and, you know, sorting through things and not trying to do complex math or anybody's taxes or I'm getting there I'm getting there making sure I haven't skipped anything because y'all got some RP going on at lunchtime <clears throat> these are my friends too friends you turn to much for the moment they show up they, they make you tell what, I beg your pardon uh, unless he's some powerful mage who could bend space and time to bring us here. Okay, let them talk. You heard me, John. You turned to much when those three are here. And mainly for the bald guy. Points at Kragen. After all, you called to out to them without a thought. I was alive or not. Maybe they can warm your bed tonight. Oof. Almost nothing, brothers. I suggest we try not to think about it too much. If we ever see this Hans again, we can ask him. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Spr Jerry Springer. Come yes. on. Double in. Oh. You, you Come on. <laughs> he, he was the mayor of Cincinnati, but then discovered that having his talk show was more profitable. A very intelligent man who's willing to dive into the sewers for ratings. And yeah. And when I say sewers, I mean the cesspools of humanity. Going for a smoke, not all of one, but some. Yes, yes, I know the feeling. I'm not sure if anyone plans on saying anything, but that, that's what I got for the brothers.
<laughs> Welcome back, Corn Brothers. You have in your absence. Sebastian died twice. You're all got a big mount. You've been attacked by a lot of things. Killed Medusas. Got covered in green slime. Fun times. Fun times. One of the times Sebastian died was my fault. I did split his head open. Seven babbles at the brothers, informing them all of what they missed. <coughs> Keep in mind, Seven, that when the Corvos departed, uh, you were monosyllabic at most points. So yes. I'm, I'm trying to roleplay that appropriately. Yes, yeah, seven. I get that. Seven is touching. <laughs> That's why I said babbling. Well, yeah. babbled. So yeah, no, for them, it's kind of like a, whoa, we saw this person two weeks ago, and they were yes and no. And now they're talking fluently, babbling, and... All right, that sells it. Looks like a child learning hey, hey, English. Hey, hey, guys, wait, wait, wait. Seven was not limited to yes and no. Seven had yes, no, and sign language. We just don't talk about that one finger all that much. <laughs> <laughs> John D is typing. Corn, <laughs> Lauren Pascal are typing. Well, this is not seven, but just dialogue in general. I'm going to take a walk, clear my head, and does so. session tonight burning out no but after this can i've only got four beers left uh-huh hmm. mm. <sighs> why am i not surprised well good thing sebastian's okay now brother please for the love of the various gods try to stay out of that kind of trouble why did you split him open anyway <clears throat> Do you need to know like where John is going or you know, just say that he's taking? You, you might want to uh, put that in or modify your actions if, if you're leaving the immediate proximity. Welcome back, Venus. Welcome back. You've missed some RP and that's about it. It's okay, it's just RP. I'm not too, too worried. It doesn't involve me, so... I was hoping people would want to ask about what happened with the Corvos, because I'm sure some people want to know, but they're not going to tell if no one asks, so we can move forward if y'all want. <laughs> Save it for John another day. I kind of got... I know, sideswipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, My mom ended up talking my ear off, so it kind of took longer than expected. That's okay. You you can catch up on the RP if you want as your character's laying down to try and meditate, nap, snooze, whatever. And he turned into green moss person like the green moss skeleton. That would be Sebastian turning into green moss person and the blasting off. Uh, yeah. His name Can was Hyperion. Did die or something? Well, he's sorta. Oh, no, I meant because he's not communicating or anything. Oh, uh, yes, the dirty laundry comes out. Arsley glad that John had taken a walk already. <laughs> the Hyperion thing. What? We were all doing dice rolls and shit, and we didn't know what your percentage was. At first, Aiden had to do it for me. Or for you. So we were just I was just curious if you died or went somewhere. Alright, congratulations, Thank Seven. You. You've officially blown the core of those minds. Just Oh, and the story gets better, KGP. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, we haven't even gotten to the thing about Oakley yet. So 
So apparently this is going to take a couple of more minutes. I mean, so, uh, do we want to kind of not fast track, fast track it, but move things along? That's up okay. to the party. Uh, I'm kind of having fun. I know, I am too, but I understand a lot of people are sitting here. Seven, you're basically going to give them the lowdown. They're going to be various forms no, of no, violence. No, no, have no? fun, guys. Ah, but everyone Aren't else isn't, little? and I feel bad about that. Are people really? little? Other people I mean, they're like crying, so... Yeah, Some we're people crying are crying and kind of stuck. This is like minutes of RP. Okay, okay. if you want, we'll keep going. Right, I'm going to go for a shot real quick. I'll be back in two. Believe me, I'm interested in reading it, even yeah, if my yeah, character is. Get it out of your blood. Uh, all right. In that case, waiting on you, Aiden. Uh, it's fun being three people again. Keep typing. Yeah, no, I see that. I'm just now I have to consider all their different reactions with the personalities I gave them. Uh, Because, see, guys, this really does make me miss the old days where we all sat around a table because everybody was, there was no muted or not paying attention. We'd throw popcorn or chips at somebody if they weren't paying attention. And a lot of times we didn't need to do charisma checks because you could rely on the person's own acting. And only it's like if they were trying to play, they were bad, but they were sitting there giggling their ass off. Okay, charisma check kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want, maybe and we could do this verbally. <clears throat> but that's up to y'all. I know that's not convenient and working well for everyone. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there is something to set, although I'd have to have a pretty big fucking table for this game. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The we are an army. The amount of chips consumed in one night would be amazing. <sighs> Although I'm pretty good about not snacking during a session. I just keep chugging water. I'd probably bring some. Because <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, worry about my weight. Before you showed up. Ah, uh, yes, Craigin, Thorin, Pascal. So, as Seven is telling you, Oakley showed up <laughs> on his black, fiery horse. I caught up with the whole Craigin, Thorin, Pascal, everything. Why they leave and everything and whatnot? Just so I I know, cause I wasn't here when they were first here. On the way so. back from the uh, dungeon that Ganji had given us a map to, well, I say given, but we took it off his corpse. Pascal killed a large leech that had been attacking. Was it Rel? I think. Anyways. The leech had a second shadow which attached itself to Pascal, and after a bit of determining at the temple, we discovered it was a monster known as a tween, something which made him unlucky and everything around him, be it friend or foe, unlucky. Uh, basically, advantage or disadvantage in 5e terms. Hey, Obviously, that was not... Hmm? Sorry, you just said a uh, Rel. I think you meant 7? I forget. I, think, I thought it was Rel. We had Rel. No, we didn't have Rel at the time. Rel, we did not. Uh, Nora, maybe? Eh, whatever. Rifle? Could have been Rifle. Rifle. Anyways rifle yeah i knew it started with an r that's what tripped me up anyways so obviously having a tween on the party is great for the one person because they get to crit twice as often but not great for everyone else because they fumble twice as often so we got a quest from the temple to get rid of it we were going to go find this guy pagel knuckleson uh about halfway through the journey down the chasm the uh, party split from the corvos because it was it was a thing 
game over, dude. Game over. Mm -hmm. They were going to keep going forward. The party wanted to go back. It came to a vote. The party voted no. So KGP left, and a session and a half later, Hans joined. New! One hour later in the afternoon, and Bevan, you have your spells at this time. So you're saying all of them? All of them. Full. Awesome. Thank we've you. We've got a discrepancy in timekeeping, and so whenever there's a thing like that, as I stress to my Padawans, when you're not sure, err in the player's favor. So, so you've got them all back. I need a little clarification, but for like when that hour took place at, as in regards to my character walking you off. Have, you have walked off You because I told you to edit your stuff and you didn't, maybe you didn't hear because your thing's been wonky. So you've went inside, you've paced around and what did you get to drink by the way? Did you mark off the funds? I was thinking like a gold piece worth of whatever. gold piece. Now remember, you're in one of the trade cities. What'll that fetch me? Well, if I can keep my clipboards from sliding and falling down. A gold piece? In the trade cities? Drinks. Just, just, yeah. I thought you said something about, like, drinks not costing more, but everything else costing double? That's Was right. that food? Was that food? It's, it's food and lodging. Right, alcohol still applies to the double. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh... You could get one cup of excellent wine. Or, let's see... You could get some rum. He's not looking for quantity. Just quality. Okay, so uh, we'll go with one cup of excellent wine, then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can't afford Cecil Dorf or Dwarven Spirits on one gold anywhere. Uh. No kidding. Okay. Uh, you know what? I thought we had it bad. You had gotten it worse. Has John out uh, ask Wally, ask Robin, ask the party who John enlarged me, and I was twice my size, and I got down to smack, I got to smack down dinos before we ran into Hyperion first. Okay, apparently there's still a little RP overflow. So I'm going back to actions for the round. Let's see, who's throwing a fireball? Never mind. <laughs> Talking and keeping watch. Sleeping on wagon. Seven, battling at Corvo's. Rel, feeding Roan. Sebastian, also taking a nap. Uh, so I don't have anything for... All right, there's one of them. Okay, move my book of all this here. Get this one here. Robin, getting food. Okay. Again, mark it off. Either... Money or rations. Wallace, praying. Okay. Wallace, how much prayer time did you need last check? You know what? I marked the time in the thing, so one hour, 45 minutes. Okay. Bevan is typing. That's a biggie. Okay. Venus sleeping. Special sleeping. Praying. Brown and seven. Done. Ariel and Veritas. I don't see anything from you, Golden. Sorry. I'll go put it in. Okay, it's been an hour. So. Alright, 
I'm ready to wrap up the RP. <laughs> I figured you all were going to ask what the Corvos went through, but I guess I'll save the story for another day. <laughs> well, Venus kind of did, but it's all good, though. Campfire stories with Uncle Craig and... <laughs> so she just passed, went to the wagons and passed out for another three hours. Ah. I'm sorry, I didn't catch her uh, question. Right. That okay. being said... Your brain is probably mush. You need uh, verbal it's RP. It's not mush yet, but I needed four hours of sleep to prevent it from being mush. Mm -hmm. yeah. The and point is, it's at the cost already... of mush. An hour has already passed, so she needs three more hours. Ariel getting food, Veritas praying for an hour and thirty. Okay, noted there are thoughts. Uh, Bevan, food, prayer, heat ration. If it's still light outside, yes, it's still early. Uh, what the hell happened to my dice? That... Do you feel a sharp pain? There. Hey, Dungeon Master, do you feel a sharp pain? No. Why? Then they're not up your butt. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in the core, we had a saying, somebody, where the hell is such and such? And somebody would respond, if it was red and, red hot and up your ass, you'd know where it was, wouldn't you? And, <laughs> yeah, that, that usually uh, was the start of very colorful and meaningless dialogue. Mm, sounds like the core. A few laughs. Yeah, okay. we, we were very crude. I think I'm good at this point, Dungeon Master. Like, I could keep going forever in a day, but I know everyone else is kind of twiddling their thumbs. Sure. Uh, ask Robin if she would come outside with me to look for a few flowers. Take them to the general area where we lost Hans. Place them and say a prayer for Hans. Oof. Okay, and I'm going to ratchet up some time. Go with Devin. Duly noted. Verbal RP is cringe, verbal RP is the best. Yeah, it really is the best. She, and he said he could smell it, and Rel told us how bad he was, so I told him the truth, and one more, more important, seven sons in a childlike, innocent way. Fair enough. Okay, and again, party, uh, I'm going by, like, one-hour jumps here for actions for the round to try and get y'all's spellcasters back up to speed. So, okay, I've got uh, Bevan doing stuff that could take the better part of an hour. Uh, Robin is with Bevan, so, yeah, that's it. Those of you that are still praying or studying, yeah, you're covered. So, uh, yeah, Rel, you're pretty much covered for an hour because your your quest elephant, you know, he doesn't eat fast. I mean, he eats copious quantities and steadily, but he can't just suck hay up through his nose. That doesn't work. Uh, sleeping people, yeah, that works. But if you've left anything that you would like to get done in the next hour out, you may amend so. Question for everybody. Since this has been a thought discussion for a while now, how many people would be upset if Wallace left? And people are reacting.
And Dom, um, I'm very curious as to why. Is, Dom, do you wish to message me or? I think you mentioned something about this previously and I that's not, if if it's what I'm thinking it is, that is not a fix. Okay, I'm curious to see. It should be obvious, but obviously I'm not upset at you with any of the things that happened in character. I would hope not, because I didn't mean it maliciously. It's just like, it, it, it's good RP. Am I wrong? Well, you have left John with a bit of thoughts to sort through. As far as a good roleplay, well, as long as it's in character or for how you've been wanting to run it, it seems fine from an outside perspective. Sorry about the holding pattern, guys. That's fine. It's 
all good. I'm just making a piggy bank out of a Pringles can. Ah. Uh, somehow I'm thinking that would be more of a wiener dog bank than 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 a pig. But you know what? <laughs> just somewhere to put my extra change. is funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm spazzing out. It's okay. That happens. Okay. With that, I have responded, and Dom, your dungeon master advises you to stay the course for now. Now, I'm not going to put you in shackles and make you play that character, but... Uh, we're not going to mid-session swap you out unless you get killed. And I know you won't suicide a character or or anything like that. So, uh, something a bit awkwardly, it should be said, considering the context, all time, John. The Corvos. Okay. Ew. One hour later. <laughs> and it's still early afternoon it is that time and so for those of you doing studying and stuff and i believe that's two hours out of the four you needed venus yes yes it is and Sebastian, you're halfway there to be able to cast first level spells again, also. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like you ever could. Sebastian, by the way, uh, you had to shed a tear when, when one of the brothers' backpacks broke and those flasks of oil fell to the ground and three of them broke open and just burned without <laughs> his heart. It, that was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Wasted oil. Yeah, just thought I'd fill you in on that little detail. Yeah, cry me a river, you pyromaniac. <laughs> okay. KGP guarding minor chit chat. Wallace still at it for 45 more minutes. Okay, Bevan, you may dice those healings on yourself and Robin. You could have actually done that during the last hour, but you know what? It, that's good. That's good. At your convenience. And I'm still waiting for a bunch of people to type in stuff. And I'm sure there's more RP. Okay, more RP happening. Yep. Okay, caught up. Okay, that's five hit points restored to... Let's see. That's for You're, me. That's for you. And you said one for Robin. For two. Okay, back. Welcome back. So, Robin, you got two hit points back. And bravo, Bevan. I remember how you struggled with the dice spot early on. You've been getting it right with with fewer and fewer. You got those last two without a hitch. I think you've got the hang of this shit now. You probably 
better than me at it now. Except for the fact that I did it twice in the wrong channel last week. Well, you know, that was the wrong channel, but you don't, typed out the command right. Don't feel bad, <laughs> Bevan. I do that a lot. Okay. So, yeah. And, hey, you were getting those 20s last week, too. That, that was pretty cool. 20, 20, 20! <laughs> Okay, seven and rel holding pattern. Sebastian, eight ration, then read for an hour. Nice. Okay, make sure you mark off that food, Leonard. Still sleeping for two more hours. That's spot on, Venus. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything from Robin? No, I don't. I don't know if you're doing anything special at this time, Robin. Or John D. Or Ariel. Okay, you've got an Veritas. You've got another thirty minutes of prayer. And Ariel, you finished with your lunch a long time ago. Uh, Ariel, hanging around. Veritas, another thirty minutes. Wallace, another forty-five. Venus, two more hours. Minor role play. If we are staying here overnight, he would rent a room with the rest of the party. Okay, I see something coming from Robin. Check out short swords looted. Any magic? Oh, Robin. Okay. All right. How am I missing this? Ah, there we go. There were two short swords. Uh huh. Still past that it would come to this, though. Yes, seven filled you in, huh? Okay, so reading for one hour, holding pattern, sleeping for two hours, hanging around. Veritas, you still needed what, like? 30 more minutes. 
Okay, so again, just going, it, some of you are going to be done in 45 minutes, some in half an hour. This is not preempting your ability to do shit during this hour that goes by, but it's an hour later or whatever fraction thereof. So, Wallace at the 45 minute mark, you're typing in actions. Veritas at the 30 minute mark, you're getting in an action. Venus, you've got one more hour. Yes, Baro, you typed it in as I was saying it. I think you hit enter before I even got going good. Okay. Okay, uh, Bevan. What time is it? It's mid afternoon. So, Bevan and Wallace. Uh, Wallace, you can dice a healing on Robin. Bevan, you can dice a healing on yourself. Wallace, okay. Uh, oh, one of those. Okay. Well, Robin, you'll get five hit points back. And Bevan, you will get back four hit points. And if either of you, as Bevan, you stated you were going to heal Robin. Robin, are you still down hit points? Yes, several. Okay. So, Bevan, you're going to heal Robin. And I don't know who else is doing what, but you can dice that. For a solid eight. Balls in your court. Yeah, feel it. Feeling heal. Oh. Yeah. Who nice. said what? I think Wallace was talking first there. Dom? I, w I was muted. No, I think you're talking about me. I'm pulling up. It's you, bro. Um, but I was going to ask Robin if he was if she was down any more HP. Pizza party? What the fuck is a pizza party? After Evan's last one, I'm fully healed. Okay. Robin would probably say, "What is HP?" Who else needs to be healed? Oh damn! The storm crowd is kind of far away. Okay, party. New triage. Out of character, please. Oh, and I see a uh, cure moderate wounds on Gorin. Ooh. Is that the five things that the five hit points that Wallace just diced? No, that was for Robin. Okay. I would have to dice the next one. <clears throat> Am I allowed to dice that? Thing? Yes, you are. Drills. Mm -hmm. Sir? My bad. Somebody said girls. I thought it was... He Robin. asked if you were okay at all. 11 hey. HP. Uh... Would you believe it? He's still not up to full. Okay, was somebody trying to get my attention? No, I accidentally said Aiden, and I corrected myself. No, oh, somebody was making a joke saying the dungeon master needed healing. Ah, okay. Yeah, I probably do, but I think this is this is going to take some serious, like, fifth or sixth level spells for, for what ails me, but uh, appreciate it. May I dice my final cure moderate wounds on Gorn? Uh, Gorn, you're still down? 91%, sir. Absolutely. Go for it. And somebody else put some stuff out there. Veritas, healing Ariel, Pascal, Sebastian, and Gorin. Uh, Veritas, you can check, but before each roll, make sure they need it. All right. Gorin's since, good. Mm -hmm. Since we got Gorin's multiple. Good. Yeah.
John Deere. Where did I put me or Ariel? Oh, Ariel. That was for Ariel. Alright, and while y'all finish up with this healing and making sure you're not stepping over each other and making sure your intended victims can receive those hit points back, I'm gonna go for a couple of drags. Ariel, Pascal, Pascal, you still wanna heal? Yes, please. Alright. Five for Pascal. Sebastian, I'll send you a healing. Uh, and five points to Sebastian. He's that full. Pascal okay. is full. Does anyone else need healing? I'll put one on Bevan real quick. Bevan, you get two HP back. Uh, I don't oh, know if that. Don't bother with food. seven. I just okay, need a good night's you. sleep. Uh, Bevan, what are you looking at percentage-wise? No, wait, stop, stop, stop. I'm down five yet. We got people um, I'll base another healing on you. Okay, thank you. For eight. Yay. Yay, thank you. Anybody else need healing? I mean, don't that know it. about Robin, but maybe Robin. Okay, or the, John. Well, the rest of them are going on me because I am very low on HP. No, Robin's healed fully. Okay. And these are the rest of my spells. Puts me in the vent, and now I need to sleep for a long-ass time. Okay. Alright, did y'all resolve all your healing that yep. you're capable of at this time? How long do you have to sleep for to be able to cast six levels? I'm it's not six level. Second level spells again? Four hours. Four hours? Yes. First and second level spells require a four hour, four hour hiatus. Nap, rest, recovery, etc. Alright. Knows our faces at least, maybe yours excluded. Regardless, start thoughts. We'll deal with him if it comes to it. Uh, much worse are those guys who got away earlier. Wait, you think the guys that got away are worse than Hyperion? More pers uh, prescient. <laughs> really? Least. More personal? Oh. Yeah, like Hyperion's going to forget that shit. Mm. Wow. I wasn't there for that. <laughs> no, it's because I was just... Crazy. Like, I know the tween was freaked about him. I, I heard a little bit from Seven, but I haven't seen the shit. I gotta play it right. Yeah, okay. Hey, Gordon, Pascal. Reagan, I told him exactly what you all look like. <laughs> of course you did. God damn oh, it. God damn it, Seven. Why did you have to grow him off now? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Still, hearing a description and, and seeing them is a different thing. Well, I gave him the description, but I also uh, told him like what weapons they use, who's who, like... Oh, Did you give him a bow to tie us up with before you shipped us down the river, too? Oh, okay. What's that? It's a saying. It might as well have gift wrapped in us. Oh, then yeah, I kind of did. Like I said, I told yeah, Mama. You kind of did. You. Wow. You know, I, I, if it had been us and I you mean, were John gone, totally I would have told him you were in the chasm. And you were. Okay, we need to stop right here. I don't really know whether this is in character or out of character. Oh, no, this is all in character. <laughs> See, this is the verbal RP. Uh, yeah, John gave you, well, oh, I guess almost the exact miles away you all were. <laughs> really, John? <laughs> the silence is deafening, but I assume, Vader, you're going to type it out. Don't want to stumble over your tongue, so I don't blame you. For what it's worth, we're not ditching you, but 
I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> is the is the general consensus from the Corvos? You know, at the end of the day, we didn't actually come to harm from it. That being said, big middle finger, big middle finger. <laughs> What's that mean? It means that I don't like what you did because you could have gotten me killed horribly. I saved Mama. Yeah, I suppose you, you did. You want to tell me if you if you and your Mama encountered him, you wouldn't sell us out? No, I would have told him you guys went deep into the chasm to look for a cure. I would have lied. Because I, I, I count y'all as friends, you know? And friends don't point whatever the fuck Hyperions are at other friends. You, you don't do that. Do you think your mama would do the same thing, though? Uh, it depends if she knows y'all. She's met some of yous a few times. I'm pretty Damn, we meant to see mama. Mom. Didn't know. Uh, damn it. Oh, oh, Sebastian... Uh, he he also turned into a big stone statue. Doesn't matter. My characters know what petrification is, right? Yeah. He was petrified. Was that the? I told you we fought Medusa thingies. Snake hair bitches. The fuck. And some really long bug. In segments. Okay, you, you've got you got my character stunned again. Is it just the open mouth? You know, I thought we had a shit end of the stick, but maybe not. And then again, you've had more months for it, I guess. Well, weeks, since we don't have a word for months. All right, now, guys, guys, I think I've been fairly indulgent in the RP. So, uh... Sorry. I had a few minutes here, and I, I encourage this, but again, you know, a big chunk of the party can't really get involved. Okay, uh, Robin, duly noted on the War Mage stuff. Wallace going to sleep. Uh, Veritas taking a nap. It's mid-afternoon, uh, Veritas. So I don't know if you want to nap or, or go to bed, because mid-afternoon, all through the night, wow, your batteries will be charged, but you're going to wake up hungry as well. Fuck. Anyhow, new. One hour latest. Venus, I'll need a perception check from you. And Veritas, I trust you inform the people before you get on this. 16. I did. Right, you rolled a 16, and your perception for a That. Okay, Venus, you're still sleeping then. You got enough sleep to be rested, but you, you're still sleeping. Why? I was just going to wake myself up and go and eat. Well, you're having a pleasant dream. And okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> Veritas is just going to go to sleep. <laughs> Your brother is slowly learning how to defy death. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, Bevan, casting Cure Serious Wounds on Wallace. Bevan, you may cast such. Uh, Wallace is sleeping. Go ahead and dice it, and Wallace, give me a perception check. Wallace just went to sleep, so... An hour ago. <clears throat> that was an hour ago. And Dom, you're still sleeping, Wallace. Yes. And Bevan healed you for... 11. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Robin, studying for 45 minutes. Rel, ask Roan to watch over her while she takes a nap. Okay, Rel. Uh, he will nod his head up and down. Seven continues to babble at the Corvos until someone, Wallace Veritas Ariel, collects her 
she full on intends to scar the Corvos. Duly noted. Venus still sleeping. <laughs> okay, so I've well, got one. You told me that I was still sleeping, so. That is correct. That is correct. You're RPing the hell out of that. With zzzz. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five people with their actions for the hour in. Oh, I never put mine. Leonard, I'll assume that Sebastian is still sleeping because that is apparently his vocation. John D. Veritas and Ariel are typing. My question, question is, when isn't Sebastian sleeping? When he's no. setting things on fire. Yeah, I mean, you got to wake up and set shit on fire occasionally. I don't know anymore. Maybe ask Veritas if she can replace the lightstone spell for his headlight. Because it was open when and one of the Corvo's did the darkness spell to cancel out the stuff in his eyes. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to ask Veritas that before she's she's all hunkered down to sleep, John D. So, yeah, Veritas, before you can get laid down good and close your eyes, John D. is uh, asking you, yeah, whatever. Okay, Wallace has more than doubled his percentage. And is the most hurt locker party member. Oh, 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 no, we saw a tree man. Bevan spoke to him and some creatures that looked like a lion and a monkey. And men covered in needles. <laughs> oh, more cat monkeys, apparently. Full-grown mm. one. <laughs> Great. Wouldn't that be something if cat monkeys and Sioux monsters were actually related? That would be horrifying, yes. They're cute and cuddly, and then they turn into that. I may have to consider that. Wow, that, right. that would be... Yeah, I'm inspired I mean, now. I can't remember if the Corvos were there for the Harpies or not. No, they weren't. Okay. John Veritas will say she can replace it. And that she will do it in the morning. Okay, there right. you go, John D. You got your answer. All right, let's see. Who am I missing out of actions for the hour? Let's see. Venus is sleeping. Bevan did some spells, or a spell. Robin is studying. Oh, uh, let's see. Rel is taking a nap. Seven, still RPing. Uh, let's see, KGP, RPing, and on guard duty. Veritas, sleeping, Ariel, hanging out. What? Gandhi, I don't know, maybe I'm still okay. Gandhi, you got your answer, and you're just kind of floating around there. And, yeah, there. Wallace is sleeping. So let's see if he's not sleeping, he's still sleeping. And. Long the Mac. Lost somebody and got them back. Okay. I was just restarting voice because everybody was starting to go lower and lower and lower and lower. Awesome. Good call. Okay. Uh, all right. So nothing here that I really have to handle. Oh, we got some RP, the in-character chat. We ought to rename that the RP channel. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's... Man, I kind of feel good we made as much distance as we did before, well, before today. <laughs> and a singing woman. They were ugly. John fireballed them. Yes, yes. 
John D. with the fireball for the save against the Harveys. Not that the rest of the party did bad, but that fireball was kind of the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there were some other spellcasters that did some incredibly smart things for that encounter as well, if I recall. Tangle. And Tangle and... Oh, Robin did something too. I forget what it was. Slow. Yeah, yeah yes. Slow, Entangle, Fireball. The party did pretty good on that fight. Well, it's Don't just the fact it. that... that she... Seven saw John cast a fireball, so she knows that's his spell. The other two kind of can't really see until you're in them. Oh, and then, of course, somebody had enlarged Seven, who mm -hmm. ran off like the Jolly Green Giant harvesting chicken. <laughs> I don't regret that. <laughs> you could have gotten seriously hosed, but... You know what? It worked out, so I can't say it was wrong. Okay. Sorry, I'm not waiting for that. Okay, party, everyone, please pay attention. Out of character. I want a new triage. Everyone, please. So, party, as you can see, well, you clerics can see that uh, Wallace still looks kind of like he got drugged down a mile of bumpy road by the heels, but uh, everyone else is in pretty damn skippy condition at 97% or better, okay? If you weren't making me sleep still, I would have woken up and healed Wallace. Yeah, well, you know what? Your, your brain was getting really kind of mushy there, and four hours was the minimum. But have you ever been sleeping good and nice and comfortable? And you know what? You just went through hell in a handbasket. You kind of want to sleep some more. It's That's natural. Oh, I know. This is Off the I just pushed myself through it the next day. Yeah, uh -huh. well, that doesn't work in D&D is what he's trying to tell you in a polite way. Thank you, Liddy. I know. I was just trying to make conversation. Okay, well, let's move forward. Sorry your brother died on my watch. <laughs> Not in that tone of voice. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah. Shit happens. You do the best. Now... Mead, of course, would have said, uh, "Yeah, sorry, your brother died on my watch." <laughs> like just like that, laughter included. But I've got a charisma of seven, not eighteen, like you do, John T. So, 
So uh, there are some times where it, it might as well be seven. Well, the thing is, you would have known the laughter was earnest and truthful. <laughs> Just not very, very funny to any other people. Uh, let's see. You know, it should happen if you do the best with what you have where you are and try to leave things better than when you found it. We're back. That should help. That should stop time. <laughs> I'm telling mom on him. No blood, no foul here, John. <sighs> now, if Hyperion had found us, I would have haunted your ghost. So you have vengeance for all you fuckers that have gotten us killed. Thought I had gotten you killed. Ah. John D. So introspective. Ninety-seven again. Damn, the dice are teasing me tonight. Wait, so party. Wait, head out. Yeah, party. Okay. We've gotten a lot of people healed. And you got a lot of people sleeping with oh, mushy brains. Yeah. Fine, we're sleeping in. Rip. You were... How did you forget that, Emma? Because I'm doing three different things at once. <sighs> I'm turning my dice to keep accurate track. Okay. New, one hour later. So, Robin, uh, you will have that 45 minutes of study done. And Venus, give me a perception check. Okay, Venus, you'll you'll wake up. It was a pleasant dream, but you know these people have been talking so much, and you, you've your dream state. You've incorporated parts of what you've heard into the dream, but then it just for some reason, yeah, somebody says something that just completely clashes with the dream that you're having, and you wake up, and you feel so much more refreshed. And party, those of you who are not studying, praying, or sleeping will notice, oh, Venus woke up. So I've got KGP, Wallace. At this point, Sebastian pretty much covered it as well. Uh, okay, uh... Venus, you don't need to wander off. You'll look around and you'll find him. He's sleeping on some some hay and stuff. Whoa, you've got... You burned through so, that many spells, Bevan? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh... Uh, so good to see you alive and well. Man can dream they'd all snap to and be ready to go. Let me tell you, Gilmore and Walt ready to go at the drop of the hat. Gods, we could move so quickly. No constant debating about where to go. Yeah, Walt was the, the, the man. Walt was the man. Uh, at this point, if everyone doesn't mind, I'll just type up the Corvos are going to recount their experiences. This is to everyone who's awake, basically. Okay. <clears throat> hey, get, get ready for this epic, epic chapter that's, that's coming, because, uh, yeah, they, they did some stuff. To be fair, our recounting is, was pretty epic. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget the coffer corpse. Oh, there's plenty of things. <laughs> Did 
you have this pre-type three who no. come with it on the spot? No, I'm coming up with it on the spot. Yeah, this might take a bit. Yeah, he's gonna be at it for a few minutes. So, John D, I don't see anything in actions for the round for you. I really wish I had something else to occupy myself with, but I okay, really only have just, role play in mind. Just type in RPing with the Corvos or some shit. That way you've made your presence known there. Dungeon Master, do you mind if I give it? Uh, if you think it's within bounds, Lydia, go ahead. Why don't you go check on rail? Is rail not sleeping? You don't know that. You don't know if you don't look. Sorry, I was might have passed in game, but not that much has passed. I haven't had that much time to think about it. Honestly, it just feels like it's flowing past without me really being able to think things through. Well, take a minute and think. Look before you leap, but remember, he who hesitates is lost. Man. Either way, there's going to be RP heavy. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, watching over Bevan as he studies. RP with Corvos. Wow, Bevan, you actually burned through four second and a fourth. Okay. Four second is two hours, a fourth is an hour, so that's three hours. Then food, prayer, eating a separation. Got that. Bed, prayer, then bed down. Okay. Alright, so Bevan, your current course of action will take you till after dark to complete. Yeah, that's Not. why I figured I would pray and eat in bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just making sure you're informed, because... All right, party. Semi-on-world knowledge. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it gets dark at 6. Okay? That's not really a stretch. No, Nobody has a sundial that they... A wrist sundial. But y'all could pretty much walk out of the stables, look up at the sun and say, yeah, it's about this time. Okay. Damn it, I know I can, but I've lived outdoors a lot. Guess what? So have your characters. Some more than others, obviously. <laughs> Thank you for that, Double M. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, let's see, Wallace needs more sleep. KGP doing their thing. Uh, Venus, you indicated that you were going to heal Wally. Did we do that already? Nope. I have been waiting for you to tell me to roll. Okay, I've been waiting for people to put things in there. So, Venus, go ahead and dice that healing on Wallace. Seven. Okay, what was that? A cure serious wounds? Light. Well, that was three, three spells. Three light wound hearing. Okay, Wallace, I'm going to need you to give me a uh, perception check. I'm going to batch it. Oh, Wallace. Yeah, you're you're starting to sleep. And, and well, you feel a whole lot better and it wakes you up. You're feeling so damn good it wakes you up. And there's... There's Venus doing the healing magic on you, and yeah, yeah, you did not get your four hours of uninterrupted sleep, but hey. I hoping I wouldn't disturb them, but okay. Hey, you got the hit points back, Wallace, so. Pro need... tip, um, <laughs> Venus, if you use any form of magic on someone who's sleeping, they're going to wake up. Or have a perception check to try and wake up. Okay, all right. Well, anyhow, Wallace, make sure you adjust your hit points and 
your counter went back to four. <laughs> I guess you're editing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Yep. John would actually like the kibitz. No, kibitz. I'm, I'm queuing stuff up, but you can start going, and I'll copy that, paste it, and then respond to your thing, and then continue. All right, so I got KGP. I've got Robin Bevan, John D. Veritas and Ariel. Hey, Golden, you guys doing anything here? Wait, Veritas went to sleep for the night. Ariel's still hanging around. Okay, I got you. Welcome back, Leonard. Yeah, welcome back. All right, seven and rel. Rel's napping. Seven is still doing RP. Sebastian is still snoozing. Wallace. Walls just got woke up and is going back to sleep. Venus has done that. Okay, so I've got actions for everyone. Out of character chat. Okay, Leonard came back. Wallace at 65%. God damn. Right, he, could second take a, he could take a hit from a two-hander at this point. Depends when he's behind that two-hander. You're not wrong, Lydia. You're not wrong. Are you sure if it's Oakley, he's a dead man? Yeah, that's... There's a lot of... Th most things die from that. Ooh, I got a lot of messages. I could take one hit from Oakley's two-hander. Now, a second hit, probably not, but... Okay, now, remember, it is a two-handed sword, so it does boss damage. It's very highly enchanted, and he is very strong. So there's that. Then there's the black flame aspect. So it does burn damage as well. So you're going to take that massive amount of hit points of damage, and you're going to continue to take burn damage. Are you sure you can take one? You know yeah. what? Let me answer that question myself by looking at my cheat sheet. Wallace, you got that many hit points. Okay, if it's a non-crit, yeah, you can take one. But you're not taking two. Yeah. In, in, unless he rolls minimal damage both times, then you, you could take two. But at that point, if you're not fleeing or evading or praying to your god for intervention, then... Yeah, you're pretty much fucked. Okay. And wait, wait. I'm also surprised that Kragen didn't have more reaction to that. Honestly, he probably would have. I'm trying to keep things moving. <laughs> and I gotta pee and smoke again, so I'll be back in two or three minutes, guys. Well, y'all finish up with that bit of uh, the and stuff, and it looks like I'll be able to fast track y'all through the night. Doesn't matter because I got them. Hey, what a problem! Here you go. Here, Anything before I put in the next stuff, uh, Vader? You like right before I take that. Not right now. Okay. Bloop. Shop for me. There's a build that'll have to make a
for burning the eight. He's down. Nice. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my page moved up. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, so no, 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 yeah, some chunks. <laughs> Did you say you're going to have a story about one upping me on that? Ranger Master, can I ask a question? Sure. How long has it been since Rel decided to take a nap? I'm going to have to look at actions for the round and tell you, but uh, let me catch up on the in-character chat real quick. Yeah, no problem. I don't mind waiting. Thank you. Is there any more? Double M? Yeah, there's more. I'm just typing it out. Okay, <laughs> just didn't pop up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm typing in a notepad right now. <laughs> Told them move on. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh... Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry to do that to you, girls. <laughs> well... I asked Grills a question about things, and yeah. If you want, I can do it. I'm just not sure if you made any changes. If you'd like, I can just have an artistic interpretation. I have the basics. I'm sure I did something there. But it's... <sighs> oh, that's cold. That is fucking cold air. Why does the AC kick out cold air when it turns on the heat? Because that's the uh, ambient air that's been in it, and it's got to clear that out before it can pump out what the new hot air is being produced. Did not know that. Thank you. Yeah, the fan turns on, so all the air that's been sitting there stagnant is blowing out, and that feels cold until the heating element begins heating up the air that's passing through. Isn't it the same thing for, like, water heating? Yes, that's why if you turn on the hot water tap, you get ambient temperature water until the water that's actually in the hot water heater gets to the spigot. Yeah, which kind of sucks because when you're you're usually done with the faucet, it's before it has time to heat up. Mm -hmm. At least where I am. So turn it on. Wait a minute, and then you. Now, in parts of Europe, they have their hot water heaters right there at the sink. 
but they are much smaller in capacity. They're like two, three gallons. That's all they hold. But when you turn on hot water, you've got hot water in like three seconds. But those are the more northern climbs. It's been an interesting session for roleplay. Mm -hmm. Kind of saw that coming, though. Yep. Uh, mm, pardon. I hope I didn't take the bit with uh, John. That unsure if he was going crazy or not too far. Nah, nah. And Venus said BRB. That was one minute ago. Okay. All right. Uh, caught up on all of those channels. Back to actions for the round. Okay. One hour later. Wallace resetting his sleep schedule. Venus wanders off looking for Wally. Gave him the healing. Woke him up. Bevan praying. Robin watching Oof. over. John D. Wallace trying to sleep. Okay. So, Rel and Seven. What were they doing last? Seven was just gabbing at the Corvo. Yeah, she's still part of the RP thing. The gossip clutch. Okay. And Rel is taking a nap. Mm-hmm. Okay. In character chat has blossomed again. Almost done. I've got one more thing queued up. I imagine that's the one that's going to make the party interested. Three beers left. Oh. Two and a fraction left. <laughs> question did anyone else hear the police scanner go off no nope all right great all right and now the story's done like i said not the most detailed thing ever it wasn't meant to be it was just a quick once over yeah we did here went here did this that happened And the next thing they can tell you is green fire and shit, and they were here. And yeah, it was yeah. It, it was some shit, dude. We were gonna have to pick which of us was the most less likely to make it back because we were running low on food. I had like two days left. I'm joking. We were gonna hunt something, obviously. Hey, Walt would have found something to eat. <laughs> you know, you know, Gilnar and Walt, we, we asked them about it, because, hey, maybe Walt could carry shit, but they said they'd help us hunt something. We never ended up hunting them up. Hope they had enough food. Nah. I mean, there's something else, like, attacked us, and it looked no fairly problem. edible once you cooked it, maybe. Yeah, Walt never bothered cooking his food. Oh, yeah. Walt's fine. He's a giant scorpion, and yeah, no, I, I feel kind of bad. We killed those other giant scorpions. I hope they weren't nice. I mean, they... Well, hmm. <clears throat> oh, the Black Bolt of Lightning. I don't yeah, know I, I still don't know what to make of that. That was oh. scary shit. The 
black bolts. There's something in rumors and gossip about those. I know which my new character is going to be if these two die. Master. Yes. Since the new here says one hour later, would that be more than enough? Would that would it be more than enough to assume it's been an hour for Rel since she went to sleep last round? It, it has been an hour for Rel, and I don't think Rel did any spell casting, so we're about to get into that with the perception that I was dealing with so many other facets of this. Well, I just noticed that the new had one hour later on it. So that's yeah. why I was asking. No matter where we go, at least this time I think we came out okay. It sucks about your big friend on, so we're all here, including a few new faces. Out of character chat. Back. Welcome back. Thanks. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, new one hour later. So, yeah, Rel, you can give me a perception check. Nope. Yeah. Okay, Raul, you're snoozing. Uh, okay, Hollis, you up. What do you mean, two hours left? He wants to sleep for four hours, so he had two, but then he was woke up. Oh, okay, I didn't type in the new new. new okay. New. One hour later. Card, play cards. Venus leaves Wallace alone, going to the wagon, doing prayers for three spells, then just going to sit in the wagon alone, going to think over things. Three hours left. Yes, correct, Wallace. Okay. So at this point in time, Bevan, you need two second and a fourth. Seven, getting bored of talking to the Corvos, going to see where Mama is. Mama being who? Veritas. Okay, that's what I thought. I wanted to make sure. <sighs> There's a snappy comment about how, yeah, it seems y'all weren't very quick to replace us, but eh, no, I'll take the high road. <laughs> Yeah, because that really wouldn't be right. The party is constantly adding and losing people. Yeah. <laughs> and let's face it, Hans was not a replacement for three people. No, Hans could not replace three mid-level fighters. Dude was still in leather armor for him. Well, that's because of his size. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, armor was more expensive. Okay. And money. Hans, Hans, Clyde feels your pain. Mm-hmm. armor. Really, but can Hans you feel us pain from being vaporized? No, we'll just have to no, vaporize Clyde pain. later. Not that much pain, but needing to special fit armor. Okay, so KGP on guard playing cards. Uh, Venus is contemplating the universe and shit doing prayers for three spells okay gotcha duly noted wallace three hours left ralph seven uh 
checking in on Veritas. I don't see anything for Veritas, but I think that was a Veritas was sleeping, sleeping for the night. Yes. So Veritas is the land. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Seven, you'll find Veritas sleeping. Do you wish to uh, amend your actions, either verbally or whatnot? Well, I was just looking for her, so I wasn't going to disturb her. If okay, I found well, her, I would have just stood watch or just okay. bed down. All right, then please go ahead and amend your actions in the Actions for the Round panel. So... I assume that you're going to type up that Seven is going to bed down next to Veritas. <clears throat> yeah, I will. Uh, man, I'm not used. To, I'm not used to my subconscious talking to me. Mm -hmm. This is your subconscious. We don't talk much. <laughs> Are you pulling an email on me? <laughs> All right. Has any? Am, am I overlooking anyone that hasn't entered something, or I haven't entered for them? As I roll dice, I think good. Okay, in character chat. All right, uh, I said that I was going to check on Rel. Well, now, am I losing myself? He says, lost in his own thoughts. You're numb. John's subconscious. Uh, well, if that's the case, Vader, because I don't see anything for you for actions for the hour, please, uh, put that in there. Well, now that prompts a second question from me. Does this mean Rose been asleep two hours? I think so. Hour? I okay. think so. It's been a very trying day, Ralph. Okay, so I've got a check thing here. Lydia. Yeah. Did we determine the perception score of Rome? I remember that you guys did do something like that. Don't remember the score. I have it written down, I'm just gonna find where I stashed them. Yeah. 16. Okay. That's very perceptive familiar. Yeah, it is. Well, that's not a familiar. Oh, no, not that familiar. felt like an insult. Sorry, wasn't intended as an wow, insult. Wow, Lydia, Lydia, can you imagine if it was your familiar, what that would do to your hit point bank? That might yeah. be awesome. <laughs> that's Unless master. it died. Yeah. And if it died... That that is certain death because you would lose double it, its hit points permanently. Mm -hmm. You you you'd just shrivel up and become dust if that happened. At that know. point, I would leave it at Mead's keep again if I can find him. <laughs> Imagine getting like a freaking purple worm or a leviathan as a familiar. <laughs> you know, I toyed with that thought once—a leviathan for a familiar. But. Again, if it died, that's certain fucking death. Find Familiar is at one point, it, it's first level, but for as powerful as it is, it should be ninth. Because that is some powerful goddamn mojo. Finding of life forces. And it doesn't even say necromancy anywhere in that shit. <sighs> Okay, so, uh, John D., 
as you tear yourself away from the gossip clutch and you go over looking for rel you'll rel where did you go to take your nap at in one of the wagons right wagon number two near uh <clears throat> okay run all right so john d it's getting late in the evening there's still an hour or so of daylight and you'll you'll spot rel sleeping in the, the back of one of the wagons and john d give me a perception check Okay. Hope. The one time Ooh. I got an that's on him. Okay. All right. So what are you going to do, John D? What am I seeing? Well, it looks like Rel is crashed out in one of the wagons. Hmm. Oh, not sure. Okay. Uh, okay, so, John D., you walk over there, and you're reaching over to nudge her, and, uh, you know that big white elephant? Well, it's not white, it's normal colored. I just, I have this mental picture, and it keeps influencing my choice of words. As you reach to, uh, nudge her, that trunk snakes around you in the middle of your body, and... Yeah, it's like you cast fly because your feet are no longer touching the ground. <laughs> oh god. As, as John D, you're you're uh you're a foot or so off the ground and you're off to one side of the front of the elephant because you know their eyes are offset and it's looking at you. What do you wish to do, John D? I go for 30 goddamn seconds and an elephant has John D. What I just posted in character. Okay, give me a second here. I got things coming in. Okay, double Sounds like you're wasting. I'll get back to you on that. I think Aiden is dying from laughter. As the puddle develops. I've, I've killed Lydia. I think she fell victim to Natasha's hideous, uncontrollable laughter. I, I think you made your <laughs> Saving throw, Lydia. <laughs> Sounds like she failed. I, I know. We mourn her. Lydia died laughing the way she wanted to. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut until I hear Lydia respond. I'm okay. Able to go on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Sounded okay, like a high pitched so, Mutley. So, <laughs> didn't it though? They don't know who Mutley is. I, I do. Think. I was okay. thinking that the entire time. I was laughing. Okay, so Lydia, after that, I expect to hear best session ever, Dungeon Master, when we wrap it up for the night, because. Yeah, yeah, that it almost, session effort. It almost killed you. <laughs> uh, okay. By the way, me saying saving throw, that was a joke. That that you didn't actually need to do that. Wait, was that a fail or a save though? Oh, uh, well, that probably would have been a fail, but since she's still breathing and talking to us, she obviously saved. All right. Okay. So, John D. At this point in time, the the elephant gently places you back on the ground, and as he's pulling his trunk away, he pats you on the back lightly. He's still looking at you with his right eye, and he blinks. And he's. I just okay. lost voice. What? I'm back. Well, you're, you're back. Yes, John D is typing in character chat.
Will you allow me to wake her? And he'll jester. Okay, uh, John D. Uh, yeah, the way you spelled it is a clown. Okay. That entertains the king. Fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yes. Very good. John does feel like a bit of a clat on for talking to a elephant, but he. John, you talk to seen a weasel constantly. Stranger thing. Okay. Now, now, Lydia, I need you to, to give me a serious dice roll here, and it is a percentage D one hundred. I got a check for a thing. What do you want? Okay. Do? All right. Never mind. That is. Off-world knowledge. I was checking. Y'all know the thing about elephants being afraid of mice. Yeah, I was checking for weasel phobia. I was giving it a one percent chance. No, <laughs> it didn't happen. So that's funny. Hey, you got to cover all the bases, guys. Okay. All right. So John D. In response to your question, the elephant nods its head down then up what do you wish to do at this time john d i hope this has been as, as entertaining for their everyone else as it has been for lydia <laughs> i'm entertained <sighs> Right then. He slowly moves to do so. Make sure he's watching the elephant as he does so. And the elephant is watching you. And yes, uh, so at this point, Rel, you can give a perception check with bonuses that it will go unstated depending on your dice roll. Six. Yeah, you wake up, so I don't need to state them. So yes, Rel, it's John D waking you up, and yeah, you're in the back of the wagon towards the back of it. And it's John D. I don't know if he's, hey, hey, or what, you know, I, I don't know. And, uh, of course, you can see your, your elephant is, like, right there. And, uh, guys, your dungeon master wants to get up before his knees, lock up again, get a cigarette, and, again, go pee. If y'all want to RP, roll with it from there. But we really do need to get this ball moving a little bit better. I got to move the dice, keeping the time counter up to there. It's still daylight, but daylight is fading, guys. Get the RP out of your system, and then I, maybe I can speed things up. I'm ready to go. I admit I'm so tired I could fall asleep right now. Thank you. 
All right, party people. I am nicotined and urinated. So, where are we at here? Uh, I'm not harming her. Who touched me? Okay. It's getting late. We really need to talk, but okay, I'm feeling I'm going a, a bit crazy talking to your elephant. Can it just understand our language magically or something? And he glanced towards it. How long was I out? And switching channels. Switching channels. I'm tired, to be honest. Okay. Duly noted, Venus and KGP, you are kind of getting tired. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Working on it, though. All right, let's let's aim for eleven thirty. It's currently eleven eleven, and uh, yeah, let's we'll see if the RP finishes up kind of succinctly and fairly. Because I'm not trying to rush people. Because uh, again, if we were all sitting around the table and the party was clumped and clustered really tight, you'd all be talking. And no clue when you started, though. Okay, and. I have been rolling for encounters, guys. By the way, y'all know that. Y'all hear the dice occasionally, right? Which, by the way, it's due. Oh! Oh, there is an encounter, in fact, at this point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it's not the kind of juicy one y'all want. It's Damocles. Hey, he's back. He's back. Damocles has returned. And he's he sees Rel and John D talking next to their elephant, and he comes in. KGP, and I forget who else is. Let's see, Robin, uh, John. No, not John D. Somebody else. Seven. I mean, I'm in the Wallace, wagon. We're all at the wagon. Well, some of the wagons were outside of the stables. Some of y'all have been inside the stables the whole time. But Wallace still... fell asleep in a hay bale inside the stables. Yep. I just picked whatever wagon was out and about. Don't care which one it is. I just went to okay. go take a nap and is just sitting there now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for those of you who are definitely up and about, who are with uh, KGP... And seven, no, seven went to sleep. That's right. So KGP and all right. You know what? Let me grab my goddamn clipboard instead of looking at that. Okay, KGP, Robin, Ariel. Yeah. So uh, Damocles is going to come over to you guys and cluster up. And the gist of what he's going to tell you, because I'm not going to RP it, he's, he's going to tell you that uh, he looked at that goblin hard and long and checked all the, the wanted flyers, and there's no bounty on him or any descriptions that matched the rest of this gang that y'all fought from what he saw. You know, he... he he commiserates that this is a bummer because after that fireball, you know, he, he uses a few expletive words to describe them because he lost his squad to that. He's kind Why of... Why doesn't Democles just put a bounty on him himself? I have, have the coin. The dude's because also the already goblin, dead. The goblin is dead and he doesn't know what the survivors look like and they weren't the ones that killed his squad. He's got nothing to work with there. Okay. But uh, he's he's passed the word along to the other watch that he knows that you are in the clear on this. And maybe these guys were bandits or not. He doesn't know, but he's put the word down that y'all didn't start the fight. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> mm, so we are going to get Bravo. Bravo. That, that, that's a good one. Hey, Dungeon Master. Yes. 
can my guys give obviously they don't have perfect memory and they didn't spend a lot of time but if they have any details that would be important for the other people they'll give the guards the detail they're not putting down a bounty but just as a general be aware if you see these people known to hang around people who are highly dangerous probably highly dangerous themselves if that's at all something that damocles would like well he'll listen to what you've got to tell him but you didn't get much of a look at them i figured as much so so uh anyhow i would like to thank him for checking and getting back to us with the information he'll tell you that uh you're, you're welcome he calls you an elfling or something like that uh in a nice way. I and ask, is he, are you off duty? He is at this time. Like to offer him a mead then? Or would he prefer something else from the inn? If you're offering him a drink, he'll take whatever it is before he adjourns for the night. I'll pass him a flask with mead in it. All right. He, he will imbibe deeply from it and pass it back and thank you for it. And uh, so, yeah, basically he came back to check on the party, make sure y'all were okay, and to pass back the news that, yeah, if there's no bounties he could find on the guys y'all just fought. But, uh, you know, he's... He doesn't brag, but he does imply that he carries a little bit of weight around here. And that uh, if you're... He, he's figured y'all for adventurers, sell swords, mercenaries. But if you're ever back in this way, you know, and you need help to mention his name. And he'll get names from y'all as well. And because there are so fucking many of you, you don't have to actually pull out a, a, a thing and make marks on it with a charcoal. Now we will thank him again for his help. All right. Well, yeah, after that, then he'll, of course, he swigged the mead and... Uh, no, did you all? I gotta move time for this many notches for that. He'll bid you all good luck and and Godspeed, and he's heading for home. And uh, if you're back in the city of Navarre. He, he's uh, he'll be here. He's been here for many years. And he will depart on amicable terms with the party. Okay. Now you're saying it's getting close to dark, yes, Dungeon Master? Yes. All right. Party, shall we buy rooms for the inn tonight? <laughs> Do shopping tomorrow? Head on out and go to the City of the Temples? Back to the City of the Temples. Or alternatively, so somewhere else. Like a yellow. Are you asking part 12. people who the wait? No, this is out of character. This is, hey, party members, what do we want to do? I thought you were asking in character. Right. Well, out of character, guys, what do we want to do now? I have to do have my guys do some shopping. Other than that, I'm good. I will seem a little tired to think. Can you hold it for 10 more minutes later? <laughs> I'm just trying to hold it together to actually not say too much stupid things with this RP. Mm. All right. Well, party. I are we sleeping in the inn for tonight? Does that check out for everyone? Well, we're kind of, kind of have to since we're kind of using the yep. wagon right. for the. So in that case, might I suggest we put in actions around who's buying rooms and so forth? Okay, a one-man room is two gold. A two-man room is three gold. They kind of, the staff is going to kind of look at y'all funny because 
they know you fuckers were involved in the stables getting caught on fire and this big brouhaha and people have been avoiding the here's the good news they've got all sorts of vacancies because of the brouhaha that yeah. happened wow yeah that place got set on fire and guards have been coming and going in the fire brigade wow that place looks scorched but uh, uh, uh yeah let's keep looking for another end that that okay so you been good and bad for business that people came in and bought drinks and were looky loos but as far as rooms rented for the night wow i don't know if i'm gonna sleep in this place wait those people are still hanging out they've been in the stables all day by the way at this time guys your teamsters and link boys are bringing the the stuff back into the stables because it's getting close to dark and they don't think you are going to want to hit the open road so if you're sleeping on a wagon you're still sleeping on the wagon but uh they're they're getting these animals tended to and they're like yeah, is this all right if you look at them funny but they they're trying to do their jobs as they understand it i'll get here all right all right, John would at some point turn himself away, find Rel, KGB buying two rooms at three gold pieces each. Mm -hmm. Pascal will be the odd man out, so if someone needs a bed, he's got a spare. Spending two gold pieces each on dinner or for the lot? Uh, each for themselves. Each. Okay, so mark that out. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of you, please put it in uh, actions for the round, hour, night, whatever the fuck you want to call it at this point. Uh, Bevan, Robin, I'll assume that you two are staying in the stables, as is your bent, and the hostelry charge is covered by the rooms of the others. Venus, I'm just going to sleep in the wagon since every time I try to speak, I can't get a word out otherwise. Ooh. It, I hope I didn't talk over you. not you okay well venus it's gonna happen and i'm gonna do it sometimes and for when those times happen i'm sorry and sometimes you're gonna talk over me and i know it's not intentional it I'm happens tired, so i'm a lot lowered voice than anything so nobody can really hear me speaking okay well i'm sorry it happened but that does happen a lot so let's and it's it's fine it's just because i'm talking lower yeah nobody can hear me <laughs> yeah so everyone guys whenever we do that to each other let's try to apologize and when somebody does it to us let's try and take it with a grain of salt because i'm sure none of us are doing it intentionally it's just a pisser when somebody does it and this is Discord. Sometimes it's we don't even hear you. It's not anyone's fault. Yes. Or Discord. It's just it's only just picks up so many voices. Having to speak quietly. It's fine. We don't need a whole discussion over it. Oh no, you're right. We don't need a discussion. I just want everybody to be happy and good, and nobody have hurt feelings because it it happens a lot. You're right. And so moving forward, let me check in character chat. What's there to explain? You talk more about the cohorts with the schoolgirl with a crush when every something reminds you of them. And if you're catching up with friends, then I take it Corvo's were who you spoke of. So you chose your friends over your woman. Rel says flatly, oof, John D. Burn. Sleeping in wagon. After I wake up, pray two hours, 45 minutes, heal self. Okay, Wallace, hold on on that. Please delete that since it's an after you wake up and we haven't gotten there yet. Thank you. Because you might get killed in your sleep for all you know. All right. So is anyone else purchasing rooms for the night? Because I've got KGP... Yeah, that's up to me, Dom. Anyhow, 
trust me, I'm going to put in a, a new, new, and then an end of session. So you'll have a chance for that. So uh, Venus, Robin, staying in wagon. John D., I don't know where you're sleeping at. Craig and Gorn Pascal, I know where you're sleeping at. Bev and Robin, I know where you're sleeping at. Uh, Rel, seven. Seven's already asleep on the wagon with Sarah uh, Hall. Okay. Rel, sleep on wagon near Rhone. Seven already asleep. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that, even though it was previously stated. That way it's fresher in the entries. So that when we pick up a week from now, so, so many hours that I can, I can overlook this quick and easy. Appreciate it, everyone. Okay, and that takes care of Sebastian. All right, let me look down my clipboard, make sure I got it all. Okay, Bevan and Robin, done. John D. John D, John D. Okay. Veritas, Ariel. Oh, Ariel. That would be you, Golden. I need an entry entry for Ariel. Seven and Rel, Sebastian, Wallace. Wallace was sleeping in the stables, I have it. Hey, Wallace and Ariel, can y'all put something in there for me just for next week when we pick it up? Uh, you just have Ariel currently just hanging around with people. Yeah, Wallace. Yeah. Wallace being in the stables. He's already asleep you. on a hay bell somewhere. Yeah, but I'm just asking that it's in the freshest actions for the round that way next week. When when we Double pick up, I can scan mm -hmm. that you really Ariel quick. beds with Pascal. Sure thing, Ariel. There you go. <clears throat> okay, now everyone, please make sure you mark off either rations or money for your dinner meal. Okay. You're all on the honor system. So. At least you know I'm being legit about it. I'm literally telling you the amount I spend per person. Yep. Yeah. It's just. <sighs> Ow. Just waiting on that new end of session. I've already done the dice roll. And that means. It goes from this to, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go there instead of tormenting y'all with. I guarantee I'm not doing this to y'all because I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes hungry as hell and I keep candy bars and shit next to my bed so I wake up in the middle of the night eat a full size candy bar and chug down a bottled soda and go back to sleep I'm not doing this to y'all that's, that's <laughs> tormentous how do you so, not you, you do that double M now, how do you do that and fall back asleep? That's a ton of sugar. I've got a very high metabolism. All right. 
Okay, new, many hours later, still dark outside. The party wakes, refreshed, yet hungry. Oh. Never mind, I, I thought the news was that. And party, you will all be one hit point stronger because you did get eight or more hours of sleep. So before I let y'all off the hook for the night, yeah, things are getting heated and in character. I thought well, Wallace just said stop that. one gold piece. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm so taking everyone... out the gold piece and eating it. So everyone, put your new triage in the out of character and put your anticipated actions for first thing in the still dark early hours of the morning in actions for the round. And once I've seen something for everyone, <clears throat> pardon, in actions for the round, then I'm gonna type in end of session. Can I finish what I was typing that I've been typing for the past Go ahead, minutes? go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna go for a smoke. Tie up your loose ends, and then we'll have the uh, after session chatter. Honestly, after session chatter is almost as fun as the session itself. <laughs> sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. Anyhow, I'm going to go for a smoke. Oh. I'll put in your detail. And I'm sorry I didn't get to kill y'all with anything tonight. But y'all did acquire some magic items, and don't anybody leave till I get back. There's important stuff. Gods, it's been a while since we slept in bed, apparently. Still the worst thing about it, it was fall yesterday. Well, you know, why the hell on a fine year we had each other's backs for over a year before you came? I don't think the friendship's lightly. Do you have any clue how much I've been struggling? I was, I might have left true allies to die. Dating you has been nice, but this, I thought I judged you. Wait, dating? I think it's more than dating at this point. Uh, Stan, I shouldn't have to choose between you and all. You're all important to me. Ooh. Out of character chat. Okay. Venus at 101% XDJK. Nice. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, Venus, do me a favor, delete that. And it's if you're down a hit point. It was a good joke, but delete that. That way we've just got a consolidated triage there. You're good. Bevan is typing. Good. Oh, not that part. The 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 
the no, you did say everyone gets one hit point back. You could have left the joke. Thank you. Okay, Bevan at 100%. Robin, I think you're below 100. Oh, you're at 100. Okay, good. Good. Veritas, Ariel, 99% both. Awesome. Let's see. I know Lydia's typing in the other channel, so I don't expect to see anything from her. Let's see. John D., I need your percentage. I cannot. Um, out of character. Out of character, please, for the triage. That's our... Yeah, we might need a triage channel, Double M. <laughs> uh, the character isn't good enough. Well, it's working, but it kind of gets sloppy when people are saying out of character things. And, you know, that's something to consider. As for actions yeah. around, I'd like to see how this goes before uh, putting anything in stone. Well, there's not going to be any combat at this point, so go ahead and put your triage in there. If it goes to combat in the party, then we'll pick that up next session. So, I'm still waiting on uh, Seven Rel and Sebastian for triage, but I know Lydia's typing in the other channel, and Sebastian's probably petrified again. I mean, <laughs> stoned. Yeah, yeah. If I remember correctly, uh, Sebastian would be now at a hundred. Same with. Rel and seven would be at ninety nine. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm scrolling up, and Rel's at a hundred. Sebastian's at a hundred, and seven was at ninety eight. So probably ninety nine. Nope, I'm at a hundred. Okay, so you're all three at a hundred. Yep. I all just right, had it no. updated. Then you do you what you're doing. Uh. Seven. Hundred percent. Rel. I wrote a novella. I'm sorry, guys. Well, not actually a novella. If I or if I wrote a novella, I'd, I'd need at least post like five more times. Okay, so that takes care of the triage. And other than... Wait, who are... Wallace. Wallace is in the Hurt Locker at 65%. Veritas and Ariel at 99%. That's pretty good. Everyone else is at full, is what I have. Wow. Get that one. Okay. All right. I've read the in-character chat. All that is done. Okay. Again, last call for actions for the round before I type end of session. I think it's all good. Snog with Brett Bevan. Eat breakfast. <laughs> Okay. Oh, seven and rail typing. My finger was on the enter key. Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay, so obviously that conversation was taking place before everyone went to bed. So keep that in mind. I see a typo. I must fix it. You can fix it. All right. Uh, timeline. Finally, it moved a day. <laughs> All right. And with this, I am killing the recording. <laughs>